Kiss Me on Monday. From beautiful Uptown Burbank, Harmon Town is now in session. Please welcome to the stage your game master extraordinaire, Spencer Crinton. <laughs> what you got in that bag? Also your mayor of Harmon Town, you know him. His name is Dan Harmon. Yo, 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 rapping to the flow, rapping to the beat, rapping all night, gonna eat some meat, then some veggies, what can I say, I like a full plate, all day, my name's Mr. Eating, I'm made of a mouth, and a stomach, I like to eat things with the former, and swallow them down to the latter, I fucked your mom so hard that her pussy turned into pancake batter, put it in a pan, Turned it into discs, ate it down with a swish of red wine, cause I'm a functional alcoholic. In the morning, I'm calling you for brunch, for a lady or two, mimosas, yeah, samosas, no, that's Indian. Alright, welcome to Harmontown. Uh, Is it me, Dan, or are you getting better at freestyle? Mm. I think you. I think you're finding your, your flow. I think I'm getting... Worse at freestyle. I think I'm getting better at uh, at at focusing in on the 90 words that rhyme with each other. Well, what, what, maybe Eminem feels the same way. No, he doesn't, because he'll say, "Stole your mama's Acura, wrecked it, gave it back to her." You don't know that Acura rhymes with "back to her" unless you're a true rapper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'm just thinking. I just stay. I just learned to stay away from the word. Just uh, not not in a, not in a tempo, but just rhyme. Be Eminem for a minute, and just try to freestyle rhymes for Acura that are kind of loosely rhyming. Like I don't know, it's Scott Bakula. Yeah, for, this, yeah, this, this that's funnily. great. Sure, sure, guys, sure. I mean, obviously, so be, you can do it. Like you have that muscle too. This now let's hit that beat again. Yeah, put that, put that beat let's, back. Let's put that fire. And now, now just let it like. So just be phonetic. Just think phonetically. Yeah. Don't, no, we'll don't, just do better. Don't, don't just be, be real good to right. true rhymes. So you guys, what you have my best interest at heart, Absolutely. right? Like you know, this isn't some kind of no, sideshow. Don't, don't, don't be. Paranoid. No, that's not no, true I'm, at all. I'm let's supporting just, you right now. In order for me to be better at what I do and to feel better about myself, you guys want me to just do okay. another rap. No, no, I just no. Don't, We're um, trying to ruin you. We're trying to destroy your career tonight through rap. Spencer, Spencer and I have been waiting three and a half years for this very moment to, to take you down. Tonight is the night. Let's just joke. Come on, finish, give me a beat. Yo, 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 whoa, yo, whoa, go, yo, 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 up and down the snow blow. Yo, snow blower in the driveway. Gonna fuck your mama. Gonna do it the right way. See, I yeah, can't. Yeah, no, you did it. The driveway in the right way. Oh, uh, I did? Yeah. That's doing it? That's, that's, that's the same thing I was doing before. Doing it. It's the same thing I was doing before. But you said the same Acura and Scott Bakula. Driveway right way. We got a big show tonight. We got a lot of guests. We got a lot of old friends. We got better shit to do than to fuck with me. I, I, you, no one's fucking with you, Dan. We're here to support uh, you. Maybe I've been drinking. I, I one of the one of the the only topic that I have to address tonight is I want to talk about prostate massage. Thank uh, God. So if if you think that we can get through everything else we have to do tonight and still address we, it, we should maybe why don't we, why cancel don't we, why don't we, why don't we get that out of the way. Let's leave with prostate massage and then we'll, we'll we'll bring our guests up. We're gonna need a lot of time for this. I think. Are, are you saying do we want the guests on stage for this prostate massage conversation? Well, I guess I'll let's bring up Rob Schraub. Rob Schraub. I'm not saying he's the prostate massage of guests or that he's an expert in it. Hello. Oh uh, yeah. We got beard 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 growing shrub. Always a pleasure. This yeah. is my Logan phase. Like it. Jealous. Jealous of its uh, lustrousness. What phase is Jeff going through? You got a haircut. Yeah, I'm going through my haircut phase. You're, you're a in a one. Guy Pierce. <laughs> yes. Uh, phase. I, I'm going through my LA Confidential, yeah. like, like, like five and under phase. All right. Well, if you're a fan of mine, and you are, uh, one of the things that you know about me is that once in the late 90s, I experimented, having heard about the stimulation of the prostate uh, as a extra option at the country buffet of jerking off. 
I I took a Sharpie pen and put the non-cap end up my rectum while jerking off, which I usually do on my knees anyway. So I was kneeling on a pen and kind of like moving it around. And it did feel a little extra good. Hmm. And I came the way I usually do through oh. my penis. Oh. And, and then I never, that was the last time I did it because then I had come and I was kneeling on my bed with a pen up my ass. And I had yeah, to pull was it out. Was there a mirror in front of you? No, I'm oh, not, okay. that's not something that I think would ever add for me to the sexual experience. <laughs> well, I don't think me. you would put it there on uh, purpose. There I am. There you are, Airwolf. Um, <laughs> it, 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 but so I always thought of it like, okay, guys have assholes. Yeah. Women have assholes. True. Everyone has an asshole. Mm. And that guys, because they're homophobic. Assholes are Mars, vaginas are Venus, I think. That guys, because they're homophobic, uh, like they don't, they just, we just associate, we've been socialized to not be like, what are you, what are you doing with my butthole? And then other people would be like, no, there's just as many nerve endings up there as there is in the outside of your dick or the pussy, yeah. like, like, like whatever. It's, it's all <laughs> science. And, uh, I've, I, I've it's been content science. to be like, yeah, I'm not interested in anal things or anything, but the so here I just I just typed it in and I don't know why because I, I remember a conversation with a friend of mine me who no it, well well <laughs> well there was that was the first prostate conversation I ever had was with a shrub so put a pin in that I'll put a sharpie in that <laughs> the I I remember a writer on one of my empire's shows like going like well have you ever had your prostate milked and i went no and he's like yeah i did that with so and so his girlfriend and so they you know and then he described this thing and it was like yeah, you said prostate milk so i'm not gonna i'm just gonna support you and i'll think about it later so then i googled it so your prostate is a First of all, women don't have them. Did you know that? No. Yeah, I, I did. just found I'm that out. Pretty, pretty sure. I guess they I, don't I die guess of I figured prostate. that out in my head. They, but they don't die of prostate cancer. They never do. Well, you know what the prostate does, right? It, 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 well, it does a, it, it's the muscle. It's the pump on the aquarium. It keeps. I mean, it puts the pee out. It releases it for the pee, pee to come out. And then it, and then it pumps your, your a third of your it, it does the whole pumping motion of everything that gets makes everything go out does that and do it also uh, provides as a gland yeah. a third of the uh total seminal ingredients fluid. of seminal fluid hell yeah so apparently the prostate <laughs> but uh ha, it, it, it builds shit up but i don't know if these are websites that are just selling spamware you anal uh tools and dressing the whole because they're all kind of geo cities looking, and there's like a gif of a nurse like like going like, yeah, this is important. Are, for are you. these sponsored ads that you're reading? Like, I don't know how I got. That. I think I I typed prostate milking into Google, mm. and then I started surfing, as the kids call it, image mm. search on Ink. the reg, and I and 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 what what the people that would but granted, keep in mind these are people who are selling you things that you put in your butt, so they want you to put something in your butt. I don't know. They they might be on the side of. It's in their best interest that you, that you do put that. something in your right. Butt. Okay, so well, this thing say, is run by big butt stuff. Mm, but, big butt stuff. But yeah. apparently, I never. When I put the sharpie in my butt, I wasn't doing it right, because you can go to Reddit's where Wait, what you, people are talking about the prostate orgasm, like the milky prostate. Like you put something in your butt. Right. And you wiggle it around the right way. You like massage the prostate from the inside of your butthole, and eventually you'll have an almost to a guy what feels like an involuntary shuddering orgasm. Right. That has nothing to do with when you do the other thing. Yeah. And it's like a different thing where you're like, whoa, and there's like an earthquake, <laughs> and then there's guys on subreddits going like, trust me, like I get it. You don't want to put a thing in your butt. But guys, and I, I, don't, I just am 45 years old, and I just encountered it. Should we make podcast history right now? <laughs> well, I think we need, we'll make podcast history next when, week. <laughs> when you said earlier that when you put the Sharpie in, in your butt, um, did you, and you said you did it wrong, 
Well, just I, what's the right way to stick a sharpie in your butt? Right, thug? that's what I was pushing back against. You did it just fine. Don't well, worry. Well, no, I did everything. As long as you didn't hurt everyone yourself. Everyone that does something does something Well, you just came, fine. didn't you? That, the sharpie wasn't designed to milk your prostate. When guys are talking about putting stuff in their butts, they're not just saying, "Oh, there's a hole there that feels good when you stick stuff in it." That 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 there's also a thing. There's a G spot in there. Thumb, but let's not it's rush too quickly past. You can like rub. R- what? It's great to put stuff in your butt. Sure. Everyone loves it. It's great to put stuff in your ear, too. You don't Sometimes need to milk to... nothing to just shove, shove a bunch of shit up your It's great to let your, your cat outside. They're, they're, but you, you're not supposed Everyone's to do that. It. It's great to have a, 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 a milkshake for dinner. Yeah. I mean, look. What is this, you Russia? You going through some shit. This... I had ice cream and apple pie for breakfast. Oh boy! <laughs> what if that was the end of the podcast? We just we just actually it was the first eleven. Great if we podcast. had credits to roll. Did it's you, the end of Rob? Podcast are you lying or did you, did you really have that? No, I ate it. I why ate would he? Why up? would he make that up and then no. do that mic drop? Both, both, both. I could, like uh, vegan vegan did, ice cream did, and vegan uh, uh, cake. Both gotten from Whole Foods, where they sell. The whole food, like if you wanted to get 2% of milk, they would just give you the whole milk. If you wanted to get half a sandwich, they would say no. You have to take the whole sandwich. If you wanted to have, you know, like what if what if pe- they re- uh, like Reese's Pieces? No, they said you have to have the whole Reese. <laughs> we are, This is whole foods. We don't have pieces or halves or 2% of anything here. You want grapes? Sure. That's the gimmick of the store is that uh, the, their it's only milk whole, is 100% milk. Yeah, it's whole it's the whole food. So if if you if, let's say I walked into Whole Foods and said I I need some half and half. Well, no, no, go across the tell street. Tell you what, you can have 2 gallons of it, it and you can one, mix them together. Yeah, in 1 gallon because we're going to give you Wait, the so whole I I, milk. I have to take a, a one I can buy can I buy the one half of the one part of it and the other half of the other part of it? I'll have to talk to my manager. Yeah. Right. It sounds like that what is you're highly unorthodox. Is, it's called being a, a fur trapper. <laughs> That's what the store would become. It would become a trading post where a guy draped in fur was like, what do you want? You want a cow udder filled with <laughs> everything milk has in it before you remove some? Or would you like a shoe made out of a log? <laughs> because a shoe is, what is that? That's just a pared down log. Your plan is bullshit. Whatever you want, you can't have it. It's not how it works. So you say the prostate is like a plum-sized, like, growth. A plum Well, not a growth. I don't think it it's like a plum. They say it's like the size of a plum. That if you put something in That's your butt, like huge. a finger, like your own finger, you can reach up toward your belly button, and you can feel something the size of a plum. I'm sure you can feel all sorts of stuff. And they say, <laughs> don't rub the middle of it. Don't, don't, don't rub, rub the middle of it. Don't oh, rub the middle of it. it rub hates each that. clove. <laughs> rub each like what, just clove hemisphere. Each clove. Yeah. Like 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 don't rub the middle. The middle hurts more than it does anything. It's got lobes. Wow. The idea is that you get your prostate. It's more than a muscle. Whoa. It's like a factory. It's making it's making I, a third of your cum. It's mo- I mean you. It's mostly a factor. I'm surprised, like, the way that you know it is this urine pump is very yeah, well, strange Yeah, well, I, I, I don't want to use this card, but I grew up in the 80s, right, brother. Right, yeah. No, I mean, it's interesting. It's always interesting to bump all we up had to know, All we had to know, Spencer, when I was your age, you know what we had to know? Uh, who forms the head in Voltron? That's what we had to know. Yeah, who forms you know, the head in Voltron? Uh, yeah. The yellow lion, probably. No. Well, well whatever! <laughs> you know, why don't you shoot up a school? I, I thought of it. <laughs> All right, all right. You well, why don't the rest of you put it on the comment card? Okay, they all probably right. will. No, all that's right. good. I was saying well, that his generation. I, you can't say that that came out of me. I was accusing him of it. Yeah. Who do you who do you think was who do you think was the Christopher Columbus of 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 prostate massage? Well, so remember you, did, you told me you got to try that, it. W- you, that when you rub the. You rub taint? your taint, you taint yeah. and it like 
it, like it what it does what it may I, now i just do it i've been doing it's all just uh, 25 it's years fun. of coming and now i just my hand goes there because rob schraub told me something once please so I'm don't just be always... thinking about that while you hell you're doing yeah it. oh yeah Shrub. i also think of Schraub advice when i'm masturbating I don't do it anymore. I haven't done it in see, see, too I, much I have, work. I have one story about this, but I can't. T- I feel weird telling it because Church is sitting right there. I oh, can't. don't it's, say it's, it. Yeah, it's, it's like she's not listening. Church, Church, do you want to step outside? Church. By the- <laughs> no, Church didn't do it. This, no. this is like from like when I was nineteen. Oh, to be clear, I didn't think that Church did it. Yeah. There, there, there was there was a girl when I was like twenty two, who got right up in there. With her finger and did something. I don't know what she did. I couldn't describe if there was lobes or cloves or whatever the flim flam. But all I know is I I came for three days like like it, like in, like a laser beam. Wait for three days? No, if it, she it, probably it, touched it. Was, it was not middle. like a regular pulsing guy <laughs> orgasm. It was just like like it was just this Thanks, like, this, this like this like. The, 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 like the, the Death Star blowing up Alderaan. It was a just giant focused beam of orgasm. And yeah. it, 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 she she went up there and found this like magic button up she my butthole. Went up there. Well, I never was... knew there were different things. Go ahead. Look, you seem exasperated, which is insane. Yeah, Jeff, you really <laughs> that story really you. put Shrub out. I just, I, just I, I was holding my breath for a while because you breathed. You, you want to talk? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I had nothing to say. All right. Well. What did you? What, what am I doing wrong, Dan? Dan, just, how would you? You want I me to sit go, differently? Jeff was talking. You want me about... to change the lighting? What? What am I doing wrong? How can Dan. I make you, you happy? You seem crazy. You were acting crazy. You were like, you were He's like trying gasping. To don't even. No, lose. I'm not even. He was like, he was like, I don't know. He was like, this is not how prostate touching should be, and I'm about to explain what it should be. Right. Well, I, okay. Thank you. Then I'm sorry. I threw you under the bus and pretended you were a clone. <laughs> I'm not a. Yeah, I, 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 a I picked up that signal from him too. I thought what? that he had something to say about it. Yeah. No. How much stuff have you ever put in your butt? <laughs> At the I same don't time. Think to I what was, effect? I. To what effect? Well, uh, I told Share you about it. the time when the doctor put the thing in my butt when I was asleep, you liked and it. I woke up, woke oh, woke up in right. the middle of it. They were making fun of you. When no, you were... they weren't. I was. I pretended to be asleep, though. But it's because, they, and they were making fun. No, I was pretending to. You be heard as, him, Dan. You're misremembering. I pretended to be asleep so I could find out if they were making oh, right. fun of me. And they and never did. They never did. But then somebody <laughs> sent, like all of us, like, hey, man records on his phone. The doctor's making fun of him while he's okay, yeah. asleep. Okay, so th- three three Rob Schraub stories back to back. As I was like, these are this is for the people who haven't just finished listening to 350 episodes in a row. Like I'm gonna go fast for you guys, but if 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 this is your first time here and you're going pretend like, there's a snowstorm. Why Rob Schraub? Here's the three best Rob Schraub stories in the world. Clip show. For, first one is Schraub. Schraub uh, there was a st- uh, wait. Well, let's start with that one so that people don't think I'm insane. We were just saying, like, uh, 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 you're leaving me hanging. Okay, all right. I don't I'll- know where we're going. All right, all right. You get, you, you're, you're pointing, and I don't know what that means. All right, okay, okay, okay. I, I'm sorry, uh, uh, but but uh, Shrab, you know, so there's this song called. Sp- Space Oddity was that the, the '80s song coming? Major Tom, are you receiving? No, that's no, Major that's, Tom. That's a different song. Or no, not Space Oddity. It's the other. It's called like Major Tom. Call, 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 Four, five, three, two, two one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, yeah, 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 yeah. I've told this story before. So, so it's there's a, a, song, there's, a like there's a verse in the song when the the astronaut is like he's drifting into space. And he goes, uh, and then and then they go across the stratosphere. The the signal comes in, uh, and this is Major Tom communicating to ground control. He goes, "Give my wife my love, then nothing more." And and that's the dramatic point where they lose contact with Major Tom. And uh, Schraub thought that uh, that do. was Major Tom saying, "Don't fuck my wife." Yeah. Yeah, give my, give my okay, wife sh- my love, not yours, Jeremy. Give, give, give my wife my love, and not leave no it more. at that, no Kyle. No more. Just give her the message, and take her home. Okay, you know. Yeah. Don't fucking. And then there's, the, Vegas and then there's this shit. a Diet Coke one that I told a thousand times, where the the, hey, the guy on the set of Heat Vision and Jack uh, Schraub goes. 
the medical guy is talking to us, and Schraub goes, God, I'm drinking too much fucking Diet Coke. Like, I, I got to stop drinking so much Diet Coke. And the medical guy goes, yeah, well, you know, it makes your dick soft. And Schraub goes, really? <laughs> and, the, and the guy's like, well, yeah, studies show that, yeah, it, it does. It makes your dick soft, just so you know. It's a, and Schraub goes, so what do you, what, you just pour it over it? Or... <laughs> And it wasn't. It wasn't. I'm not telling. I'm no, not telling I stories said, about funny jokes. No, no, no. I'm telling no. stories about the mo like where it's like, oh no, shit, he's he, he, he lives in a different fucking you're, you're world. You're it up already. He says it makes your dick dick soft, and I said, you mean like silk? Yeah, like velvet. Like no, yeah. He said <laughs> if you just pour it over it, it just, just become like velvet. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm said sorry, silk. I, you, you're you're adding velvet and changing right, the story. You're right. To which is softer, you guys think, silk or velvet? It's fucking silk, man. I don't know. Silk. Uh, what was the? But then why? Why did I launch into the? Because there was. Uh, a, you said you had a third it one. It was a trilogy which, that you just like. Sorry. Well, I. It's good. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's all, you know. I'm just. I'm just. I just think uh, it's funny that uh, yeah. uh, after all this time, it turns out if you stick a finger up your ass, yeah. you have a different kind of uh, orgasm. It has nothing to do with your other orgasm. Are you going to explore this at home? I don't. I don't know about that. <laughs> I will update my podcast audience as I always have. Sounds my... to me that if it was as good as you're claiming to be, you would do it again. You don't know. No, I'm saying like when I did it with the sharpie, I didn't do. I didn't do it. it. I didn't do the process. thing. I thought you they... said you just recently. No, I didn't do. No, I was reading read about, about it. it. Go to the pleasure. Go to the pleasure chest in West Hollywood and go in into the toy room and talk to the people that work there and say, "Hey, I've heard about this prostate thing for a gentleman. Uh, what's the story on that?" And they will walk you into a little chamber of like like a, or down an aisle, and they go, "This is the stuff that." You or your partner can put up your butthole, and it's going to make you come different. Jeff, I don't want to cut you off there, but if we're going to talk to anybody about this, we should bring up Demarge Brown. Demarge Brown knows about butt stuff. Oh, yeah. Demarge Brown for the butt stuff segment. It's time to go deep. <laughs> <clears throat> First, let's just talk about the world's greatest intros throughout history. Um, okay. Jesus... Intros. Entering on a on a donkey, Palm Sunday, right? That was a good intro. Uh, Elvis parachuting into the Rose Bowl. Demorge Brown being announced on Harmontown <laughs> in association with anal stimulation. Darth <laughs> Vader coming through the door in a new hope. Demorge, that's all of them. Any uh, any uh, booty fun stories for us or? Only that uh, <laughs> things that I've heard. That's about it. What have you heard, Demorge? Yeah, <laughs> that's probably plenty. <laughs> I'd rather heard. hear what you've heard <laughs> than because uh, it's only going to get better if you go like, well, <laughs> I heard a rumor. <laughs> Good. Uh, I don't. I mean, yeah, I have friends, and they they they. they it comes up in conversation, and they talk about it, and I kind of just sit there and go, "I have no idea what you're talking about." But then they spill their guts, and All right. you know, name one gut spilt. Yeah, it's not supposed to work like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying. Just tell us. Uh, you don't have to tell us about the. Uh, just I mean, tell it's us, a real tell thing. Us the, as tell far as I'm concerned, it's, oh, it's very real. Craig, tell us the 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 one story that made you go, oh. <laughs> What man? When was uh, the last time t somebody told you like a like a a butt story that made you go whoa? What the what the oh, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> or, or just tell okay. any story that made you have that reaction. Right. It, could be, it doesn't have to be about butt stuff. Like any story <laughs> that made you go oh. <laughs> Oh, what right. are you talking about? Yeah. Whoa! All right, like a, I get it. I've been high road world star sort of thing. Um, there was this story. I think in part was because I was yes. seventeen. I think when I heard it, but there was a friend of ours whose older brother went to college, um, and he came back one Thanksgiving, I think, and had a story about a formal these formal dances where uh, the women would. You know, a guy would ask a girl out, or a girl would ask a guy out, depending on whose 
who was the host of the party. Hmm. And the idea was you would meet and have wine and cheese and crackers and talk around cocktails and do whatever, and then all hop on a chartered coach to go to a resort somewhere for a big party that involved a dinner with several forks and knives and... Uh, this is a story about butt sex. This, this is, is good. Yeah, oh, oh, it's this getting is, there. You're, you're, no, 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 you're doing so, a good job. Perfect. This is a, yeah. a classier lead up to a butt fun story. Than and the Toastmaster well, you, comes out. I mean, out. you brought me up here. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no, you're doing See, everything right. Everyone fucked up but me. Keep no, going. keep going. You're keep going. Great. Keep going. So uh, this guy tells us a story, and he's keep in mind he's like probably 19, talking to 17 year olds. And he's only talking to me and my friend. He kicked everybody else out of the room. He's like, this happened to me. And this is, I don't know. You know, it's just, here's a story. Uh, and also made the guy almost, made the my friend almost sign a, a blood contract not to, don't tell mom and dad and that kind of stuff. But he said that uh, he went on a date, um, asked this girl, or was asked by this girl to a formal. And he goes to the formal. He gets a nice suit, goes to the party, talks about a bunch of the idiots there that are like, sort of trying to chat him up and, and see if he has the qualities to work in finance or, or whatever, older guys are. Uh, they all get in a charter, they go to the thing, the girl's very nice, conversation is awesome. Sorry, that's, a, that's our very tone-deaf um, uh, uh, Foley guy. Yes. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't have an expansive library, and he doesn't have very good timing. <laughs> Am I still going with it? Yeah, there's. Uh, a, we're two. We're two realities deep where people get on a charter, or is it that it, it doesn't? Yeah, you said the story, the story came the from a on person that where you had to go on a plane to get. Yeah, yeah to the, no, not a charter plane, a oh. charter bus. These are college students. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the, 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 Start over. But the way you no. met the guy that's telling the story Almost. is you were on a plane. No, 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 no. I'm his his little brother's friend, and he okay. comes back from Thanksgiving to tell us the story. Okay. That's all it is. And he's saying, and so, so he's telling, he's kicked everybody out of the room except at, us at this party. And he's saying, you know, here's a thing. Here's what college is like. That was his. That was the funny thing about what he was saying. So, he's telling the story, and he just said that he went to this with this girl. They had a great time at dinner. Uh, they both got liquored up. They both decided to leave before the charter was going back. Mm -hmm. Got a taxi or something to take him back. And uh, she takes him back to his room, and they, you know, they do what people do. They get down, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, and the guy wakes up the next day. Uh, at daylight, just as a crack of daylight, and realizes that he's covered in excrement. What? His entire body, like everything. Oh, just... boy. And um, he doesn't know what to do, so he sort of gently wakes the girl up, and then she sees it, she says, oh, my God, I have something to tell you, but we got to deal with this first, because everybody else has come back after them. They're, it's, they're the only ones awake at this point. And they go through this sort of, like, horrific Swiss Family Robinson thing of, like, Taking each piece and figuring out a way to get rid of it. The mattress had to go out. There's oh, all this stuff. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, so where did they go? They went back to, to her, her place. place obviously, roommates. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, it's a non-linear story. With, with, he's with, with, he, the protagonist. Also, doesn't know what you don't know. You're asking questions that he's going to answer. But at the time, no, I'm telling Shrab to listen right. Listen, you gotta right. listen to the oh, story. Right. It's a, it's a non-linear story. Yeah, it's non-linear. It was non-linear, and I was confused. You just, oh, I'm you, sorry. It's like momentum. You just interrupted uh, a non-linear story. Guillermo del Toro to go like, but he's a fish. Like, yeah, let him fucking craft his web. Oh, we know he's a fish. All right. Well, the bottom line is this: that uh, everything was cool at the end of it, but they had to. Um, <laughs> she had to tell him after they got everything settled, they left and went for coffee. And now I'm lost. And he's. I have so many questions. They were in the had to mall clean of America. Up what he woke up. Okay, yeah, he's doing it to fuck a Wh Whose poop was it? Was it his or somebody else's? It was hers. About to find out it was hers. Okay, oh, yeah. that's that, that was like real one step away because she has to tell him that she discovered in high school that she had a natural reaction to specifically what you were talking about, which is that Prostate she has milk. this sort of super orgasm, but then she her body vents itself. Oh, uh, yeah. Or, or vents itself. Uh, evacuates. Or evacuates itself. Right. Maybe okay. should have led with that. <laughs> Maybe should have said, "Hey, just so you know, don't freak out." I didn't ask to come up here, man. But if I come, I might shit all over. I you. might shit all over you, the bed, the living room. There's a folding right on top. Sleep in it too. Well, I have to get rid no, of a bed. Jamar, he was saying the girl should have led with that at the time. He wasn't saying you should have know, led with I that. I was trying to. He wasn't giving you a have. note. So he <laughs> he fucked this chick and she pooped her. She pooped the whole everything. She came so hard that he fucked the she, shit out of her. They had, they yeah. had sex and immediately went to sleep. 
Good night, everybody. everybody. Well, how do you you and you, you got to be pretty tired. I mean, I'll say, I'll, I, look, I'll say I would have to be pretty tired. tired to go to sleep. Both people. There's poop everywhere. Both people. What? Both people. <laughs> Both people. This like, she not... didn't go, oh, God, I just shat right, all over his a... dick, <laughs> his balls, his stomach, his neck, and his and his sheets and everything. But I'm all just, right. All right. We got I'm just a little you know... sleepy. <laughs> I'm just going to snow. <laughs> I'm just going to wow. nod off right now. Can Namaste. We just, can we at least drop $50 on an actual soundboard or something? Like this. I know. I, I'm a man of the people. It's, it's, a, it's just the sounds are... are they they raise more questions than they answer. Oh, it sounds like your your complaints are unpopular. It does. But I retract. But please continue. I mean, no. I, it's just like he does this farting one, and I'm like, I don't. Is someone <laughs> crinkling a Gatorade bottle? Like it doesn't sound like fart. And then it's like, I don't know. See what's this? What it's just a mudslide. This is a train in a windstorm. <laughs> yeah, his soundboard is nine muffled crowds and three <laughs> shitty farts. That's. The, it's just. It's confusing. You want sound effects to answer questions. And then every every twenty presses, he has to watch an ad for a match three game. <laughs> See, some of those are good. Yeah, yeah, that could be. It's it just well. Anyways, men that one's a bad men one. only have prostates. Women don't. Right. And uh, men have therefore they have a grape in their butt that a if plum. you rub it the right a way, uh, there's a whole thing. And that's it. I'm I'm content leaving this topic. Wait a minute. What's that procedure that you when you um a colonic? You know the colonic? That's a uh -huh. colonic. Yeah. An enema. Sundays used to be colonic day for me, and I would get colonics. All right, take it from there. And uh, it was at first, I was trepidatious of it. Mm. I was sure. kind of not. I was worried about it because I heard stories about what they do there. Right. But when I got there and then they took care of me, it was actually, in hindsight, was pretty good. Hindsight. It was all right. In hindsight. <laughs> you, feel, you, felt, you felt cleaned out? You felt good. Yes, I felt great. People said my eyes, my eyes were brighter. My... <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the people at the facility, or no, no, no. Okay. People at work were like, "Going, you look good. What are you oh, doing?" Okay. I said, and "Oh, like, I got all the camera shit and go, sucked I'll out never of my tell. body." Yeah, yeah. I went. <laughs> Except one time, um, she said, "She said, okay, whatever you do, you know, you know, maybe two days before you come in here, eat eat something that's you know, like vegetables eat or something, something like whatever. But, eat something hot. Yeah, whatever. Yeah." Give me but some. Don't, give don't, me a challenge. And for some reason, I forgot that I had an appointment set up, and I spent like all day eating French fries, chips. Oh, so she always says, "Don't eat anything." Bread. Did, so, okay. She said, "She said eat stuff, but don't eat like." But don't eat so much shit that I gotta stuff. work hard. Don't, 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 don't point a snowblower at the shovel. You're at the at the, at the uh, sidewalk. You're hiring me to shovel. So anyway, halfway through, there's a problem. <laughs> I know. And it's I'm getting some blockage. Uh -huh. Which is which is hard no I mean It's a turd. It's it's something. And anyway, I'm like going, uh-huh, 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 uh, -huh, uh, -huh, uh -huh. and she's being very cool about it, you know, she's trying to make conversation. She's like, Just breathe, you're gonna be okay, it's okay. So what are you and your wife gonna you gonna do anything this weekend? How's your dog doing? And I'm like, she's okay. I just hug, um, uh, and I'm like tapping my leg, and I'm going, right. I don't know, I don't know, man. And she's like, just, just breathe. You're doing fine. Okay, you're leaking a little. You're leaking a lot. She's do telling you, you to, that. Do you need to? Do you need to go? Do you need to? Do you need to? Do you, do you need, need to, to go? Do you need to go? And I was like, ah, uh, see if you can breathe through it. You don't have to. And I'm like, I can't. I can't. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it out. All right. Okay. So, okay. Can Three, you? Can I pause? Sure, sure. What a lot of people listening want to know. 
<laughs> what position you're in? Uh, I'm laying on my back. Laying on your back. Laying on my back. And Wait, no, a, no, laying on my side. side. And, there's a tu- yeah. and there's a tube coming Wait down no, from. I start a, on my side. She puts a tube up my butt. And and there's a I tube coming there. down from like an IV line, but Something it's like a, it's like, like a, yeah. it's a car, But what do you call yeah, it? Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's right, a sorry. machine okay. with a little window that you can see all the shit you ate like throughout the week going by. Going. Whoa. Oh, when it comes out a different hose. It's. I mean. What do you mean comes out of different hose? There's only one hose. You just said you saw stuff going by, and also she's concerned yeah, about leaking. Like, isn't the whole point to leak? Like, well, it's supposed it's supposed to like shoot water up your butt, and then for a while, and then you it breaks down everything, and then I guess she turns it off and it sucks oh. it out. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Right. Okay, I didn't know that. So it's a, it's a, so so to eat a bunch of French fries is to create a kind of dam of of half French fry, half. It's painful. Yeah, and and also it's like it's palpable that it's like oh this isn't going all the way up. It's supposed to go. The water is supposed to go all the way up. They're like what, there's not the supposed up. to be a gopher in this hole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We've come to an impasse. Okay. All right. And she's and she's saying to you when she says, "Are you going to be okay? Do you want to me to stop?" She means, "Do you want to go take a shit?" Uh, yeah. Or, or she's saying, should, "Should I run for cover? Like, should I, <laughs> should I get behind Wait, the glass shield?" Story's <laughs> not over yet. <laughs> so anyway, um, <laughs> I, and I'm like, I'm like, sh- I'm like, I can't do it. I, I can't hold it. I can't hold it in. You're saying to her. Are I'm you saying, saying to her? There's only one person in the room. No, but I thought inner monologue. I didn't know inner monologue. Inner monologue. Inner. Inner monologue. I thought you said in her inner monologue. No. <laughs> like she did stand up while I was. <laughs> During her monologue, you're talking. No, I'm sorry. Okay, you're. I just wanted to. You're saying out loud. You're going nurse. I don't, I, I I'm having a, a pro. I can't. Well, I said, do you, do you need to go? I go. I, I I think I need to go. And she's like, okay. Well, okay. Give me a second. Wait a second. Oh boy, you're really leaking. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go, count to three. One, two, three. And she pulls it out. And I walk, you get it. walk from the table to the toilet that's across the room. And just shit all over her. I shit on her, the floor, the, the everywhere. How, how, I, so I, I, and, then, and then while I'm shitting, and she says, "Do you need some time alone?" I said, "Yeah, I think I, I think I need some time alone." Some time alone. I don't, I don't understand why she's not more, like, like why her industry isn't more prepared for this. That's what I don't know. She told me not to eat French fries, Dan. I, it's a, it's a, that's she too much. did her job. I screwed up, and and she has had a wonderful attitude about it because I I was like she's like I mean when I she says shit. you're leaking it it sounds like you have a dysfunction about you not oh you've been using your body the way a body should be used you're leaking there's a turd halfway down the that's water is hitting the turd early she could just she, couldn't she just tie it off. Well, there's all this water that's already up in my intestine right now. I mean, she could turn it off, but there's still stuff. And so, up there. She, when she checked in with you and said, "Hey, something's happening. You, you, can we get on the same page here?" And, and, and like, if you had said, "No, it's cool, it's fine," would have kept going. She would have been like, "Okay, I'll just increase the pressure but, of the but, hose." Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, what what would happen with, on on, an, on your average day? There would be moments of, "Oh boy, that's a that's a that's a that's a part that's a part there." That's an area. That's a. That's something we have to deal with. And then I'd be like, and then she would get out, jazz. Oh, like and, like there's a clump of grass yeah, in there. Or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be. And then well, we, we would go jasmine? through, and then it would, and it would. It, it just. This is the thing. Is like they're getting out all the gunk and crap and shit and awful stuff. That's what, stuff I, that's what I'm confused by is how they regard that as force majeure when it happens. There's a turd in this ass. That's the part where I'm like, that's like the United going, ladies and gentlemen, again, we do have a full flight. I don't know how it happened. I'm not I know th- how it happened. You double booked. No, you no. work in the airline okay. or ass industry. Right. This is not. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm on your side. Okay. I'm, I'm, this is about the consumer tube awareness. Up my ass is supposed to suck that out cleanly and efficiently. What's supposed to suck? The out? tube that's in my butt. Yeah. Is, so, it su- is it sucking or is it shooting? Is you, it, it's doing both. both it's right? shooting water up and then sucking it out. You know, because she turns up water for a while and then she goes, okay, I'm going to do some suction. And you go, oh, what is that? Onions. Oh, okay. Onions. <laughs> 
And then you, and then, and then, but then there's some times where it's too much. Where I'm like, a good, 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 good. Where it's like, oh man, you know, when you're trying to hold in like poop and stuff. Okay, so when she says it's leaking, she means I you're you, shitting all over she my means, hands, she means my arm, sh- my blouse. She means my you knees. are not being a conduit. You're a broken circuit. She's. R- regretting some life choices. She's saying like, she's saying like, there's there's a lot because uh, now, I hate to acroid you about this, but the the so the thing going up your ass is a two, it's got two I, tubes, an I, ingoing and an I don't outgoing. know. The, I, I think it's, it's a two way thing. It, 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 yeah, it, like an electrical that's, cable. It giveth and saying. it taketh away. Yeah, like it's it's completing a circuit. Like it's a, the, the the whole. Po- I think I got. I feel right about this. And I, I don't know I, why. I'm not exactly sure, and I'm sure. I'm sure there's plenty of people uh, that are listening to the show that will will kindly correct me. Uh, but I don't think I don't think anybody's what, two, still two? listening to the show. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, pretty, pretty, so, so we're, we're she, talking into the void right now. So she, except she, for the best people in America, she pulls it out. She pulls it out, and it's just like you know. <laughs> Popping a water balloon, and I'm just like, Jah! and I'm, and I'm doing this, ah, 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 ah. shit all over my hand, the floor. It looks like, it, and then I, and then she goes, I'm gonna give you some time alone. Yeah, I think you should. She leaves the time alone, and then she turns on like. Like the the ambient music a little louder. <laughs> she hits the switch on the door. Yeah. Oh, what a feeling! Yeah. So, we were dancing on the sea. Yeah, yeah. The music goes up full volume, and uh, <laughs> and I and of course I'm I'm finishing on the toilet, and after I've washed my hands, the first thing I do is of course I have to text Ag and go. I just shit all over the. This poor woman. And he's writing back, oh, my God, what are you talking about? He's like, well, I, I, I got this this colonic, and I, and I, and I, I ran it. I, I ate poorly two days before, and it, it it gave me some issues, and I shit all over this woman. Yeah. You know? and I I'm, mean, that's the part I'm trying to – it's not that I don't have anything – not figured out yet. I'm just sort of trying to wrap my brain around the colonic industry. Where they go, come inside. We're gonna wash the inside of your butt out. We're gonna. It's not just we're gonna your butt. It's your intestine. Warm testing. water up one side. We're gonna suck everything that comes out the other side. No, no, so it's, no, like, it's the same tube. It shoots water up. It's the up same here. tube. I think it reverses. Okay. It reverse. yeah, oh, so they're the water, they're just... moving forward. And she's got a. Yeah. So she's she's in charge. I think so. Okay, this is starting to make sense. Now. I think so. She's like Mark Twain, like 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 she's got a mechanism where she's like forward, yeah. aft, and like it's, it's like there's 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 soapy water going that way, and then yeah. she's like, okay, how you feeling? And you're like peachy, and she goes cool, rum, and then she's supposed to see a certain amount of. Coming back, and then what she sees is, you know, a half a pineapple, and she's like, did you have a heavy breakfast? And you're like, no, you told me not to. And she's like, suit yourself. This thing's a lie detector. Vram! She shoots it up forward, and then you're like, okay, that's not fun. And she brings it backward, and there's like a wedding ring and a wristwatch. And she's like, look, you had brunch. Yeah. Say you had brunch. I had brunch. And she's like, go to the bathroom. Shit out your shit stuff before i clean your asshole rim yeah and you're like okay and she threads it out and then diarrhea explodes everywhere all over the world and and she's like it's but she goes and she's like it's okay (laughs) it's fine and she kills herself and i never see her again no i just she didn't say she wasn't like it's okay it's okay it's normal she wanted to impress upon you she's been doing this for a long time i'm sure i'm not the first time i'm sure today was not the first time she saw somebody else's shit if you ate a a, 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 as in the stephen wright bit like if you ate a box of oreos before going to the dentist the dentist would they'd be like look what did you come on you want to meet me halfway and you'd be like, what do you mean? You're supposed to clean my teeth. You'd be like, you ate a box of Oreos. Yeah, I want to get my money's worth. Yeah. Clean it. Just, you're the expert. Yeah, they changed the tube. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Everybody gets the same tube, Levy. <laughs> it's, Levy. Levy asked from the audience, "Did they? do they change the tube? Do they change the tube? Yeah. Even I'm... For, for those of you listening, that's a diarrhea sound number. Right. 
Yeah, that was all that was I in my notepad. I mentioned this like on the uh, on uh, another uh, another episode, but she she made it a point to say I don't. There's the the nozzle tip. There's like an adult size, and then there's a child size. I like to use the adult or uh, the child size on adults because it's not as evasive. It's not as right. ev- so. It's the size of a small dick. Why do we think? Uh, that men in America uh, associate the butthole and things going up it. Like, why is that a normal amount of American, like, women, too, are like, like, uh, is, it a, is it an American butthole thing or is it a male American uh, gay thing? I think it's an American male gay thing. I think the worst thing you could ever be in America, for most Americans, believe this is is to be a gay man. And we're told early on that gay men use the butthole. That that's the joke that you're right. told in in They're like, on the yeah, they don't have vaginas, and, so they use the butthole. Yeah, I mean, like that's 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 the beginning of being othered as a kid. You know, you're oh, you're you're gay, man, and everybody goes. And you're I mean, like, we're also like genuinely shamed at jerking off. Like like kids that you talk to, they're like, there's like different <laughs> mythologies. Like, really, are kids still ashamed? Well, I don't know if they still off? are. A guy at my high school had like, to move towns and like he had to change schools and like actually the, the family left town because somebody caught him like walked up and looked through the window of his house and he was there masturbating. And his nickname became Jackhammer. Yeah, I remember uh, you telling me about that. And and he was so shamed and humiliated, he left the goddamn town. And, and that's school. for you kids listening. And by kids, I mean 30 mm. and below. Here's, like, how you get, here's, here's how you thwart that if you're a, a high school masturbator, which if you're a, a high, in high school, you're masturbating. Don't let people catch you. Just like make them like just be in the bay window of your house and yeah. just be jerking off and fucking like dare them to come up on your lawn. Yeah, it's a different it's a different steeplechase now. Yeah. But the crazy thing is that that kid, because there was no internet yet, that kid could look in your drapes, see you jerking off, and then convincingly tell the locker room he was jerking off, and then you'd have to change schools. This is a, this isn't about changing times. This is about our attitude about sex and self exploration and things. This is like how bad it's always been and hasn't really changed. Even though nowadays a kid could look in your drapes and see you jerking off, but the difference is, if he didn't have his camera, uh, it'd be your word against his, and it wouldn't matter. It's really about the cringe value of how you look when you jerk off now, because now the kids know everyone jerks off. But wh- how about how vulnerable you are? It, which is the same thing. You, you know what I mean? The other factor on that, though, also is that like the parents are different. I mean, the, the things that you're talking about now were around at a time where now those there are kids in that age age group who now are adults and have children, and they probably socialize them differently. And uh, sometimes I bet you're fucking the kid up by trying to be responsible. Like, who wants your dad sitting on the foot of your bed talking about your dick? Like, it it, it could be, it could be that forty well, percent of the time when you think you're doing Depends it right. Depends on whose dad it is. Chris Pratt's dad. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> then I'm so, in. He yeah, obviously fucked up. I mean, cool. look at the guy. No, I, I, I'm just saying, like, you don't know. You could have the best of intentions. You could have. You, we don't because we don't have. We we know everything about bee stings that you should know by now until we invent a way to treat bee stings better. We have we, we don't know anything about kids going through puberty and like like starting to feel how they feel and blah blah blah. We 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 put it off. And it's not even just I'm gonna say, even though we feel like in America we're hung up about it, like it's the species, right? It's like the whole fucking species. We don't just go like Oh, by the way, there's a thing in your butt and there's a thing in your balls, and like no one wants to talk to kids about this shit. Like, when do you you can't? When do you talk to? Like, you're gonna be like, oh, you're seven years old. Before you care about it, let's talk about your butt and your balls and your dick and your nipples. And like the kids, like, what are you talking? I want to talk about Spider Man. But then a year later, that kid could be like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go fucking insane because no one understands what I'm going through because my nipples feel weird. Fucking what a lost species. Do women shame each other about masturbation? Is that a girl thing? Church? You know, they, 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 you know, yeah, I, I've never heard a story of women walking in on another girl masturbating in high school and, and that being a giant bummer. Is, is, is that just a guy thing? You did it together. <laughs> you did it together. 
Yeah, they learn. I mean, I hear a lot of stories about girls like more. They practice kissing and stuff, whatever. But I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spokesman that. But I do feel like. But I've also heard stories about like dudes talking about jerking off, and then one kid in the in the uh, group of friends will be like, "Yeah, jerk off. It's the best." And then that'll just be the story of how that kid changed that community yeah like like, like they're, they're like oh but you're cool and he's like yeah and i fucking jerk it off all the time and so do all of you bye and everyone's like he's right like i've heard those stories it's kind of like yeah, it's the, not like, if, if word got out in my high school that anybody wore like, any of the guys that got outed for wearing women's underwear that guy would have been run out of town but there was one guy who was a badass and his dad was like in the mafia and there's people like so. Hey, man. Apparently, you wear like like women's panties, like like silky little like like thong panties. He goes, yeah, they're really comfortable. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Like 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 if he, if he backed off on that, that he would have been tortured. Yeah. But he goes, yeah. Why don't you? Yeah, I've heard and, a couple of those away. stories. Yeah, yeah. They're called taste makers. <laughs> they're called they're they're called the yeah. It's, it's like like and I don't know if. I it's like we want to talk about like how girls are different from boys like well they're it, but but if, also if we, it's like if, if you we're and I in insane. high school did a me undies ad we would we would have been really punished for it but you and I as adults know what we like we like we like to wear the soft undies yeah we like I'm soft a, undies I'm hungry I'm starving oh, I yeah? missed dinner yeah do you wish the podcast was over so you could no, go eat no I wish I brought something to eat what would you have brought if you had planned ahead chill <laughs> <laughs> we all know the answer to that question. Now, as a vegan, now how do you get your nachos? You do, you do the vegan nachos? I do vegan nachos, but I don't do I don't I I do vegan cheese. Yeah, it's it's not the same. Vegan cheese is kind of a drag. It's melting? getting better. It's getting it? better. Yeah, I I mean I, everything's getting better. Like Beyond Burgers and uh, are are fantastic. I you know I just I don't melt. Vegan cheese, it just doesn't taste as good, and um, but uh, but it's I I still I still love it. I still eat that shit. Eat that shit, fucking stupid. I went and had a chat with Kevin Smith, who is basically vegan now because oh, yeah. he just had his first heart attack. I don't want to. I'm not going to wait. Oh not, yeah, I'm yeah. not. Did, I'm not, I'm not he, scheduling more heart attacks for didn't Kevin. Didn't he almost like like yeah he yeah he had, a, he had like a huge like total like he we didn't we didn't talk about that that much because I figured he's been talking about that forever on his podcast. But it was really. But sad. he's only he's two years older than me, and he so he was never a heavy drinker. But now he's like. He's just gonna go vegan, and it's, it has nothing to do with him caring about animals. He's just like, I'm gonna. They told me I have to. Yeah. It's like all this meat and stuff, and then and he's like, yeah. Then my friends are like, oh, what are you now? Now that you had a heart attack, you're gonna be like this kind of person. And he's like, no, I'm just <laughs> I ate meat for 47 years. It was a good run. I'm gonna like now. Yeah. I'm gonna go vegan because of this thing happened. Well, it was his, oh, so you almost died because you weren't doing something, so all of a sudden you're going to start doing it now? Yeah, what are you, a pussy? What, you were thrown 80 <laughs> feet from a car wreck, and you're going to start wearing your seatbelt all of a sudden? <laughs> it's like a really weird, I mean, I don't know, people love to put people down, so it's not surprising. Also, I'm sure there's not a single person we could pull up that they're like, yeah, that was me. I was Kevin Smith's friend that really tried to shame him. Yeah. I'm sure he was just kind of collectively feeling That would this. be true. Kevin Smith still has all these friends that just bully him. <laughs> That would be like amazing. I wonder what that's like. That guy's a big Rob Schraub fan. I'll tell you that. Fucking talk to um, talk to Kevin Smith about Rob Schraub I like Kevin. most Whoa. of the time. He's been very nice, nice to me. Did you talk about Robot Bastard? No. Okay. I was like, can we move on? You know, and yeah. he's like, what's it like working with Schraub? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Dumb. It's and, not and, and he's dumb. like, no, come on. It can't be that dumb. I'm like, it's not dumb. Prove it. And he's like, prove what? I'm like, not. fuck you. Shrub, what do you want to do with Kevin Smith? It sounds like you could collaborate. Hang out with him instead of Dan. That's on the so, table. That's so weak and lazy. It's a low. No, I, uh, I, every time I, I see Kevin, he's very, very nice. He's actually a big reason why I did the last 
four issues of Scud because uh, somebody sent me. Oh, Kevin's talking to you on um, is uh, on the forum. Remember forums? He's talking to you about you on the forum, and he just wrote like, "Hey, you know, I love Scud, and Shrab never wants to finish the the book. It's it's okay. Uh, I just you know I just respect him. I think he's good." And, and uh, I got whatever, the whole, I, I got the whole shebang right oh, here. Yeah. Did you buy it, that right, right. somewhere? Is this a new release, Rob? It's a it's a it's a new edition of the whole shebang, which came out in two thousand eight. This is the fourth reprint of it, and it's got a, a new cover. It's got the whole. It's, it, it's it's hefty. It's like the like the yeah. OED or the like yeah. It's the, like over eight hundred pages. One. I'm hoping I can do a Kickstarter this year for the twenty fifth anniversary to maybe do I don't know. I'm going to regret saying this, but a color version of the whole book. I think Whoa. Scuds, I, I, I'm not talking shit about comic books. I, I just never got into them, but I think Scuds are the only comic books I've read like cover to cover. Oh, well, thank you. And not, I mean, well, because I know you, because you gave them to me, but yeah. they're so well drawn. They're so good. Um, thanks. How do you do it? I don't anymore. I don't do anything. One issue a month, like, we would all hang out and we'd smoke weed and drink and do whatever we were doing but then every unlike now every once in a while Shrab would be like eh, I'm gonna go home I'm gonna go work I'm like what are you working on what are you like, eh, I'm working on a thing like he didn't want to like open it up to us and like talk it out and invite like all of that maelstrom so he was like for at least a month Probably several months because you probably uh, weren't doing maybe, a page. Maybe like a month and a half. But yeah. like going home and like Bob Cratchit like fingerless gloves under your kitchen table. You're like drawing a page of a comic book that yeah, and you weren't. It wasn't like running around telling everybody I'm going to do a comic book and it's going to be about this and that. And never said anything about it. Just would go home every night and work on it. And then one day unveiled that he while well, the rest of us had been not understanding our prostates, uh, that he had uh, made this comic book on his kitchen table. Very interesting. Yep. Interesting behavior. Yeah. Delayed but... gratification, they call it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I got mm. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So well, what would it be like if uh, Kevin Smith had friends that were, like, making fun of him all the time? I don't know. I thought you were asking. Was I? Mm -hmm. Let's check in with Spencer. Okay. Thank you. What do you think it would be like? I think it would be a little something like this. Hey, stop stop leaving me alone. I already gave you a copy of Tusk. Like that. <laughs> How's living with uh, Kelly Kazoo going? She's pretty cool. Um, she's playing Stardew Valley right now. Oh. We're both playing Stardew Valley. Uh, Stardew yeah, Valley it is what? It's a video game. A video game. Mm -hmm. What platform are you playing it on? On the Switch. It's great. Are you Nintendo both playing Switch. on the Switch? Yeah, she has one too. We both have them. And Switch's jargon, you're playing that you mean a, It's a Nintendo. It's a kind of Game Boy. It's the new Nintendo operating. And you playing on the Switch? Yeah. Man, you playing on the Switch? You playing that? <coughs> you playing them? You playing them games on the Switch? Can you play that game multiplayer? Can she go to your farm and vice versa? Can so. you go to her farm and Switch on the game? <laughs> can you play on the game with the farm? I don't think so. Can you? Can I? Can you? Can you go Switch? No. You guys play? You guys are living in the same? Do you have to be in the same room to Switch? Look how mad Dan is right now. Can you Switch, man? <laughs> I'm going to get me some nuke. You wait here. I'm going to go to my dealer and get me some nuke. going to shoot that thing right into my earlobe, motherfucker. You, you, you liked video games at one point. Yeah, I still do. What do you like? What do you like now? I like Pepper 2. Pepper 2? I like Pepper 2 is a good game. I also like uh, the fuck is Pepper 2? Squish 'em Sam. What? Are you making shit These up? These are made up. Yeah, you're making no, up. You're making fun of video games. No, I'm Squish, not. Squish 'em Sam. Squish 'em Sam. I like Minor 2049er. That's an old game from like the Commodore sixty four. So you didn't specify that I. You didn't I'm give asking brackets. You, when did you? Do you like video games? Uh, here's three. Oh, those are the video <laughs> games that I wanted you to say. No. All right, uh, Rob. D Desert Island. You get to pick between. You get one. Old, I would play the Desert Island game. You know, I, you, you didn't hear me out. You get one. Yes, old, I did. You get one old school. One old school eighties video game. You have to choose between one of these two: Desert Island for the rest of your life. Or until you get rescued, 
Burger time or elevator action? That's easy. Mm. That's easy. Come on, man. Elevator action. I Yeah, I'll go elevator oh action. Oh, my too. God. Yeah. DeMarge? Oh, yeah. Elevator action. Elevator action. Jesus. Harmon? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Never I've got to be honest. Like I've you never respected either game. You never played Burger Time? No. Yes, you fucking did. Bullshit game. Make yeah. a burger. Spencer, did you play Burger Time? I played Burger Time. It was in one of your raps. It was one of the ALYs yeah. raps. Yeah, just and making fun of it. <laughs> Kevin Fuck Smith burger was time. a fan of the Mama Rap. What is it? We sent a, him a, the that's album. That's a pretty cold rhyme, but your mama plays Burger Time, eating up the pickles with a little squeeze of lime. Yeah, I'm a craftsman. Whoa. I don't. It doesn't. I don't think pickles would need lime. So it was the uh, you, you, your mama gets none when she's playing out run. She's kind of like a steak because she's always getting done. Rare, rare. Yeah, over there rare. she put elevator action and they made her take the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Just anything you really denigrate well, your mom. I, yeah. I, I can I can name maybe three Supreme Court justices. I know all the words to the mama rap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the mama rap of the dead alewives. If you don't know it, is it, is that trackable? Can you find that? Oh yeah, I'm sure it's on. I hope YouTube. it's I hope it's everywhere. Uh, did, we, uh, uh, did we did we talk last week? Did we talk about? Uh, Nunberg, and this isn't the political yeah. thing. This is entertainment. I, I this is yeah. the entertainment section. <laughs> Did we talk about Nunberg? That video think a little that bit. you posted. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, just anybody that's bit. listening. Just like, wait, wait you, was you, I here last week? Oh, I was here, right? Just, just Google yeah, oh, Nunberg. Yes. Sam Nunberg. He, he's, he's, he's the best. He's, he really is like the. Yeah. We I, thought we, we thought we peaked at Scar, uh, at uh, Scaramucci at, at the Mooch, <laughs> but this yeah. guy fucking out mooched the Mooch by just being. A complete fucking. It was kind of fun, like as the very definition of a rodeo clown. And like Aaron you're... Burnett is like, um, "You smell like booze." He's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> "He just came drunk to tell Robert Mueller to go fuck himself on every <laughs> every liberal news platform." Like, it's, it's such a great like Martin Short used to do that Nathan Thurm guy. It's like whatever you asked him, he's just like, "No, I didn't. No, I didn't." I had this signed <laughs> affidavit. I never signed it. I never signed. <laughs> That's stupid. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. Stop. It's stupid. It's smiling, Don't you think like, it's stupid? I think it's, it's stupid. It's chain smoking. <laughs> it's just sweating like water down his head. Oh my god. Yeah, but that was. I mean, it's a different character because the thing about Nunberg is he's like the he's like the um, uh, Cupid version of that. Like, what do you call it? a cherub? He's a cherubic uh, version of Martin Short's Nathan Thurm. So there's the sweat he, he, hasn't he looks so, gathered on his lip he yet. He's just so like guileless he's yet. just like a flying baby who just flitted through. And he just had a little air, 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 quiver, and, and it was just like I th I think you should be in love. I think I should be in love. Roger Stone's my father. He's like a father figure to me, and he just like he didn't know of anything that didn't taste like marshmallows until what, that day. What what was the end result with him? I, I stopped he, following. I, 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 we, we, he, he testified for. So he did. He went in and he was. He said, oh, "I'm not going to go." And then somebody said, "You're going to go to jail." Go I'm in. not going to go to oh yeah it's just yeah. rule of law and so he went in and and then he came out and he was like you know what it's not that bad like like i think was the i think that's how it ended i think he's like yeah it's all right that's fine he just needed a little extra you know a little baby a little just, baby goes in for a haircut you need to like give him a dinosaur to chew on you know he I, just needed a little extra from us i think he got drunk and then he was like i'm gonna be famous i'm gonna be like that girl who caught cash meat outside. This is gonna be great. Or like the and lady that was. wouldn't make the cake for the gays or whatever. But like he, he, I think he bought into the like. I think I think he got swallowed up in the weird gel that they used to douse the hillbillies. Like the, the, like he started getting high on that supply and being like, well, wait, this this subpoena is bullshit. Hillary didn't do a subpoena, and meanwhile, the everybody's going like, "Yeah, well, we all like, yeah, it's one thing to you can't do what you're doing." And then you're like watching him go, "Oh, I guess I have to go do it. I have to go to eat broccoli." He got high on the gel. Thanks, Spencer. <laughs> yeah, he, he looked like uh, you gonna like, get high on the gel when you switch, Cali. Church hey, Kelly, I'm in my room with my cat. I'm going to go switch on that gel. How about you? Where you live? Why don't you, Sounds like you. Why don't you come back? Why don't you text me back? Uh, give me some emojis, motherfucker. I want to get... I want to switch out, motherfucker. Come on, motherfucker. Let's get Sounds high like on that Sounds like gel, motherfucker. 
I think we gotta pay rent. Catholic. What are we gonna fucking do, man? We got no money. We gotta sell some of them. We gotta sell some, sell some of this furniture. Gotta sell. <laughs> sounds like you guys. Sounds like sell sounds some like he's of doing this. an impression of two twenty somethings living in the apartment. We gotta, motherfucker, yeah. we gotta sell some of this sea foam couch. <laughs> okay, now he's incorporating this, her this preferred palette. Sea foam couch. Oh, that's Just, a real couch. Can we get? Can we? Can we sell some of these? Cushions, at least not the whole couch, but Damn. just a couple of cushions, seen the cushions to afford more switchings. That's what happens. That happened yesterday. I never watched an episode of Mary Hartman. Mary Hartman. Am I missing out? Am I missing out? I mean, like I keep it keeps coming. Turn. It keeps <laughs> coming back. Is anybody? I well, mean, were... seriously. Be serious. Has anyone on this stage watched an episode of Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman? Yeah, Maybe like the in, first in 1979. One. I saw all of them when I was a kid. Okay, stand corrected. Tell me the premise of the story. She gets told, bit by a, a radioactive kid. what? I was a kid. Uh, I don't know. She just seemed out of touch and... <laughs> It and was very, a, and very and sort of unhappy, but trying to put a happy face on stuff. They, and they and, shot it like a soap opera. Yeah, so exactly. it was on every day. It was it was offered at the same buffet as the soap opera. So you were getting guiding light. I remember the wrestlers and Mary a Hartman. Late night thing. Though. No, yeah, in New York it was, it was, it was maybe like syndication or something. At night? It was eleven thirty at night. Like, yeah, well, in Milwaukee, no, twelve. They couldn't put it on before. It had yeah. to go on at midnight. They, I, it was probably like the Muppet Show, like where they sold it syndicated. Right, but I was I was always told it was like, oh, that's good. It was good. It's kind of risque or whatever. What's the yeah, deal? The, She's just the like the a woman trying to get sh- by. It's because people that, that consider themselves above a soap opera wrote a soap opera. So it was meta. Right. It was like, I'm a soap opera, meet moop. Like, oh, and you're a piece of shit uh, for watching me. Wasn't Fernwood <laughs> Sorry, Tonight? That's cynical. Wasn't Fernwood Tonight like yeah. a spinoff of that? And in in the show, she doesn't hear well. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you're she's saying she's that's she's why it's called Mary Hartman, Hartman, Mary Hartman, because you have to say everything twice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go to the weather section of our podcast. All right. It's been raining. Music. Um, tonight. <laughs> weather. <laughs> uh, it's partly cloudy. Always. Absolutely no circumstances. It's a lot under of it. rain, man. A lot of rain. Yeah. Man, listen, you hippies, you scumbags, you zipper heads, you squeeb squads, you chuds. There's going to be a rain that's going to wash it all away, and I'm going to be that rain, you zipper heads, you tranks. Are, are you doing the dude from uh, from Warriors? <laughs> with a, with a, a scotch of Back to the Future too. I'm doing I do a little taxi driver <laughs> Back Travis, to the Future. With. Who is the who is the who is the dude? Can you dig it, suckers? Who's That's the, who, Silas. Uh, Silas from That's Warriors. Si- Silas? And yeah. you and you and you it. It. I knew that you could. <laughs> yeah. Can you dig it? All right. We well, remember Pat Oswalt tweeted to Obama <laughs> saying, come on, please, just once. <laughs> say it. Can you dig it? Can so you dig it? Just say once. You know just once. You know he said it in private. He probably was yeah. like, it's like, I should Don't go out that. and blow these I people's I like that he would go, come on, man. No, that, that, that was the best. Can you dig it? <laughs> I wanted to, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Rob, give me some it. Zardoz quotes. I don't have any Zardoz quotes. I'm trying to think. The, the penis is mightier than the gun. The sword. The gun, right? Spencer, did you the have a... The gun is good. The penis the is evil is, good, is one of them. What's Spencer, that? did you have a butt stuff story? Oh, yeah. It felt like, no pun intended, you were sitting on one. One time, ah! I had a funnel and some golf balls. That's most of the story. No, um... No, I don't have a singular butt stuff story. What about like an average one? What about a plural one? Average butt stuff story. (laughs) (laughs) Taking a shower. Put some stuff in your butt. Some fingers. You know. He's not taking this seriously at all. This is serious. No. No. It was worth a shot. We've told the story on the show before about you... <clears throat> flying too close to the sun with your bathtub, right? Yeah, I yeah. put my butt up against the nozzle of my uh, bathtub. 
Because you, you have like a jacuzzi, like spa. Like water jets. How would, what's the melted wax wings of flying too close to the sun? Of you get air your bubbles butt. in your bloodstream. You get, you, get, you, get, you get flooded with water. Oh, like shrub. Yeah. Like, yeah, I just, I just immediately had this, yeah, the right. sensation. It was a, a reverse pooping. Yeah. Were your just, eyes uh, brighter after? <laughs> People you, kept you, you, them. you texted me immediately and said, "I." You said, "Jeff, I ha- took a bubble bath, and I because you have been you have been reporting to me daily about how you found out that you could jerk off in your bathtub by kneeling down in front of the the, the, the side nozzle and putting j- jacuzzi water up your butt while you jerked off. You're like, it's the best." And then you text me one day and said, Jeff, I flew too close to the sun, and I inflated myself like a water balloon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I had to get out of the now empty bathtub and run over to the toilet and sat down in it, and then just like this sound, it sounded like you just bought a bucket from Home Depot and just poured it. It just sounded like that. But I was like, wow. I was like, I gave myself an enema. Yeah, I've told that story. Yes, I have told that story. Yeah. I'm famously forthcoming. Jeff and did, and uh, uh, back coming. Jeff, good, good, good one, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you told me a story and once. Back coming. Is this true? If Is you it... know what I mean. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff told me a story once long ago that he says one time I I shit so bad that I passed out, <laughs> and I I hit my head on the sink, and there was. Cut my head open. Is this true? Well, yeah, and there kind was of, blood every. It looked like it ble- somebody kind of murdered somebody. It was the day after. It was the day after Christmas. So mm, boxing, good. Boxing Day. I guess yeah, boxing and, uh, Red Nose Day. Boo. And I was at my grandma's house, and I'd eaten a lot of Christmas, you know, turkey before I was vegetarian. So yeah, pre tofurkey yeah. days. Yeah, yeah. I was probably twenty-two ish. Mm. And twenty-two I, shits. I I remember waking up, pant like, panting going. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, it was cold where I was laying, and I opened my eyes, and all I see is floor, wall, and door, and I look up, and there's blood everywhere, like all over the mirror, the sink, the thing, and I, I, I apparently had either peed or pooed, and I was sitting down, got up, fainted, and smashed my face into the edge of the sink, mm. and then flew to the other side of the bathroom and landed there. And only woke up and my grandma said, Jeff, the phone is for you. And I look up and I like I still have a scar across my nose. And it's one of the two reasons my nose goes a little bit that way. Uh, but, I, yeah, I fucked myself up. How do you know it wasn't aliens? What's the, is, this, <laughs> is the second reason your nose always goes that way? Because... I, I fucker punched Gator. Me. No, no, so I'll tell you the no, the guy, a guy punched me at a Nick Cave concert. Oh, oh, that's the wow. Yeah, that's okay. the reason why it goes a little bit more the same. Oh route. yeah, that was recent. Uh, but I, w- 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 this is controversial. Remember, I talked about that, that the woman Alice Flaherty, the, the great neurologist, who kind of reads you like an MRI. Oh no, she walked by me and I was saying, I was telling like this other actress in this pilot we we're doing, based on this ne- neurologist from Harvard's uh, like life. And I said, I, I was telling the story about I, I passed out and I broke my nose. And she walked by and she goes, what? Wait, what? You passed out when? When? How old were you? I, I said, I was 22. And she goes, had you just peed? I said, yeah. And she goes, oh, good. And she walked away. I knew you were a Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I fucked myself up, man. I broke, like, I had a cut. Across my ear, my cheek, my nose, and the other cheek. Like, I went just wham. So you went into the bathroom, closed the door, locked it, hopefully. Shit so hard that you passed out and cut your face open. I stood up too quickly. I, I mean, I, I faint from time to time. Like, my dad faints. My brother faints. We're tall. Oh. We're skinny. We yeah. get up, and we if, if, if we've just eaten a lot or whatever, if we stand up too quickly. My dad, remember, fainted at Channel 101. And the oh, fucking, wow. the, oh, that's the right. Just came. Oh, and no. I was all worried. Like, my dad had a heart attack. Like, oh, and the, the, the paramedics came. Like, like no, you, you were sitting in a low chair. Do you normally stay up this late? No. Did you just eat a lot? Yeah. And did you stand up quickly? He goes, yeah, you're fine. Get, get, get the fuck out of here. Like I like I I, I, I I faint from time to time if I like if I'm on low blood sugar and stand up too quickly. So everybody else in the Thanksgiving family setting goes, "Oh, goodbye." He said, "I'm going to go take a shit." Okay, goodbye. And then you leave. And then like phone rings, knock on the door. "Hey, the phone's for you. You come in. Come out covered in blood." Yeah. Right. 
And they went, huh. It Good. was just me and my grandma. I had gone from the... the, the it, it could only be one person yeah. reacting but to But she the, was like, Jeff, your phone's for you. I'm like... And I, I, that's when I woke up and I see blood everywhere. I go... I was like, tell, tell him I'll call him. Find out who it is, I'll call him back. And I, I looked up and my face is just covered in blood. Why would that and be? blood just splattered. It was a complete crime scene. Were you still bleeding? I mean... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's still pouring blood out of my cuts. So did you, like... Go to the hospital to get um, stitches. I, I probably should have. I, I I think I either glued it, like probably like glued it. Glue in a cut, you know, like a skateboarder mm -hmm. trick. Mm, Vietnam uh, hockey trick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a Vietnam trick. But then I like I, I walked around. Like, I got one of those little small like Bugs Bunny band aids, like the, the, the little ones that you put like over the box and just got in a fight. Or, like, yeah, like Bugs like, Bunny. Yeah, you know. and I, I had that across my nose. And yeah. I've I've never been a tough looking guy, yeah. but if you walk in. To a bar, you, even at 22, yeah. like when I weighed, weighed like 170 pounds, with with the one across your nose and a big shiner, people think like like, like people wouldn't even make eye contact with me. I think I looked tougher because, like, like Bugs Bunny. Yeah, <laughs> I looked like I'd be like, well, he's vulnerable. <laughs> when I got when I was in high school, I was uh, me and my friends used to like sword fight with PVC pipes, and one time we had a, a tremendous parry that blew up both of our pipes. And one of the sharp shards of PVC sliced into my face and caused this like vertical uh, scar going from my eye like down my cheek, and like like you see in cartoons and stuff, it had those little cross cut things along it for whatever reason. And so like when I went to school, people are like, "That's crazy! How'd you get?" And I was like, "Oh, I was in a fight." And then people thought I was a total badass. <laughs> Did you get stitches for that? No, no. That was so weird because I assumed it was stitches, but it's like it just like naturally formed that in the yeah. scar. They got those little butterfly band aids that are great. Like like I've cut myself pretty bad, and there's, there's ones that you like stretch them out, and, and they it pulls it back together. It's almost like a stitch. Yeah. Those little butterfly ones, the little mini ones are great. Yeah. What do those have? Like extra? I don't care about those. Well, I have nothing else to talk about. You I, you, you, you hate stories about cut fingers. No, well, I can't sure, but you guys weren't telling those. That's fine. I was about to. You guys were doing great. Yeah, uh, this is good. Uh, Shrub made uh, kiss me on Monday. You know, was... drinking coffee is a lot of fun, but you know what's not drinking fun? A lot of fun drinking coffee out of a mug that's not made by Rob Shrub. You made these, Rob? Yes. These are. Uh, awesome. Can I keep this? Is, is this yeah, that's for you. I brought them in for you. It, Church, you have your new coffee mug at home. Kiss, kiss me, I'm on. Kiss me, I'm Monday. Kiss me, I'm Monday. Kiss me. A I'm Rob Schraub original. Where do you get it, Rob? You Where can get, you get it, it at my T Public uh, uh, store. Shop. Go to T Public and use the Honey add-on to try and find a coupon code for it. I right. saw that a guy commented on your one of your things, and he said, "Will there be any cheapy pee pee T-shirts?" And you replied to him. Why would I make fake merch, you piece of shit? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> well, why would I? Well, I don't know, because what, you, what you're trying to say to that kid is you're not cheapy pee, pee and you don't know what he's talking well, about. Well, we know that I'm not, so <laughs> why why would this be a surprise to you? And why would you, why wouldn't I react? Well, I why would it be fake merch? I don't know if the kid... Because kids... I'm not that word. Why does that make the merch fake? I... Am not that word. But the merch is real, regardless of what then you are. Then make all the merch you want. I'm not that word. Right. Are you enjoying the iPad Pro? Seems I'm, like you might I, want to. I'm, I'm, having a, I'm going through a bad time. I I want to I want to draw, but I can't do. I can't force myself. So the the iPad Pro isn't something you're using right now. Or I'm you trying don't like it, it or I, what? I, I'm I just kind of lay around and do, do nothing. Do you still have, uh, Robert, Dan? You still it. have Dan's iPad Pro? Are you? Yeah, I'll give it back. I guess. Well, I, just, I mean, <laughs> I'll give it back. I, well, I didn't know, know. If you you're, are you still testing it out? Yeah, I, and it it, it kind of. I mean, I, I'll give it back. I, nice. I just did the this whole. Drama, this whole like dragging me through the the fucking mud and making the shame every time I open it and look at it, I just hear. Okay, sadness. all right. Well, and see, I'm just like you probably should. I feel it. bad about myself. I don't know how to. Even, I can't even look you in the eye. Oh well, okay. Well, so now you've talk about dragging people into the mud. So now you're like what you're 
implying to me that I've inhibited your creative throughput. No, no, no. I was, I was, I was, I was there long before <laughs> Dan's you got the involved. Reason of Schraub's big you art block. didn't help it, <laughs> but you didn't. I mean, you just... weren't responsible. So you don't like you don't like the iPad Pro. I don't like. He doesn't I, like the I'm, person I'm who gave it. I'm having a hard to him. time with everything right now. I don't like my laptop. I don't like my 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 Apple TV. I don't like uh, you know whatever. I'm having. You, right. I'm just. I'm. I don't. I don't. I, I could talk more about this off mic, but <laughs> just, I'm not. I'm not. That's uh, not I'm, helpful. It's. I can it's give not it helpful. back. I'll give it back. Give it back. I know, I'll I know give it what back. We're doing here. No. Why would I? Why would I? Why would I make like a a cheapy, peepy anything? I'm not saying why you would, would make I it. I'm that. saying it wouldn't be fake merch. Yes, it would. No, it would be a. Not... You would have made a real piece of merch that says the here's, words cheapy peepy. Here's, pee -pee here's on the it. thing that's wrong about that sentence. I wouldn't have done that. So don't say you. <laughs> it would have been fake because I didn't we're do it. <laughs> <laughs> In the hypothetical situation where you did this, you wouldn't I have done it. I did though. Right. I'm what not if, going to. What if, what, what if, like, just this is totally theoretical, hypothetical. What if, like, you, if I like came like from like, like a Twilight Zone like like figure from outer space, and said, Shrab, if you make cheapy PP merchandise, you'll become like you will get ten million dollars. I don't want ten million dollars. Offers. Saying something that is absolutely hurtful, wrong, <laughs> false, shitty. Why would I want to celebrate him making fun of me? Why would I want to put a spotlight on that? Why would I want to? Why would I want to? Like, well, every so, day okay, I would so look no, but not for $10 million, you wouldn't do it? You wouldn't consider not, that a I'm, value? I'm not a hooker, dude. I'm not going to just... <laughs> Hold on to your principles, man. Hold on to your principles. Hold on to my principles. <gasps> All right. Well, <laughs> not a fucker, dude. I <laughs> that makes sense. Why I would yeah, hurt you? Know, I could make ten million dollars. All I have to do is not have any self-esteem. <laughs> that's it. Sounds like a good trade-off. I'm the one that's got to look at me in the mirror in the morning every morning. I got to live with me the rest of my life. Might as well cash in on shit. $30 million. <laughs> no. A hundred. What am I going to spend $30 million? You could use $100 million to make other people less cheap. You could you could create institutions where you could teach kids to have not your not kind cheap of cool anyway. attitude about money. I'm not cheap anyway. He's not cheap. All right. Well, how's your fucking free coffee mug ass, dick? <laughs> oh boy. Ass dick. That's your next free coffee yeah. mug ass dick. <laughs> There's gonna be a set of mugs. <laughs> That should be a T-shirt. As how's your free coffee mug, ass dick? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's funny if it's not on a mug. <laughs> it's a better bumper sticker or T-shirt. Yeah, uh, that's not how coffee mugs used to be. You know, coffee mugs used to have to have like a more banal amount of like invective to them, like a wake, wake me for the weekend. But what you're really thinking is fuck this job. But, like ranking dads. Uh, well, yeah, I've never seen a number two dad. <laughs> no. World's yes. second best. Second father. best father. Yes. <laughs> Those mugs get hidden. Yeah. They're in the back. Mm -hmm. They get pushed to the back. So Behind they the get generic mugs. And they, even. They, because they go through. You ever, think about, you ever go through a phase where you're like, you love your grandma right? And then, like, and then, like, you look back on it and go, like, oh, yeah, like, there's kind of the planets lined up. And I was kind of like, I wrote a letter to my grandma. I was like, you're a super grandma. Yeah. And then, like, the next year it was like, and all the previous years. So it was just, like, grandma must have been like, ah, oh, cool. This moment has arrived. Now these grandkids are paying off. Let's just put this on the fridge. Better leave some space for the next year. <laughs> and then you're just like, fuck this. This is hard. Super grandma, what the fuck am I talking about? I don't even know who was. What, what, how do I even know? I got one grandma. 
I try to call For her. All I know she's the shittiest one. I try to call her like every other week or something. You try to call your grandma every other week? Yeah. Jesus. Or she'll like call me uh, like she'll call me like at eleven thirty at night and just she wants to talk. I feel like nobody ever. You're high roading me. You don't give a fuck about yeah, your grandma. Yeah, must be fucking yeah, nice. I do. Yeah, fuck you. You don't give a fuck about your grandma. I love my, my grandma. grandma oh, fuck calls you. Me. She's the only grandparent I have left. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you have any uh, extant grandparents? Yeah, I got... A... I'm not a high rodent, I'm just saying. All right. You, you Him asked saying me, he loves his grandmother have you ever and likes done... to talk to her. He, he, this guy did, never... Rob, what, what, you, I don't know if you saw this. When you said, I call my grandmother, or I talk to her once every other week, Dan instantly just crossed his arms. Oh, and he felt like, instantly he felt like crossed he was being his arms. For not no, I wasn't yelling at it. He goes, "No, no, you weren't." But he felt. He, he said, "He said, have you ever done that? Have you ever done, uh, done your grandma right or whatever?" And <laughs> I answered, and I go, oh, "I try to do it." This is, and he goes, oh, "No, no, no! Oh, you answered my question. You're high roading me." All I, right. It's like whatever. All it right. does well, suck. Good. I got, I got some. Do you have, That's do you have great. A, uh, grandparents that are alive, Harmon? Yes. Let's call Spencer, him. you want to jump in here? For the love of Christ, if you ever do anything for me. Yeah, I got so many. I got all sets of grandparents. Our relationships are great. They all call me regularly, and you're, I don't have to not, maintain the relationships. It's just so easy. You're, you're doing exactly what they're they doing. They give you're me gifts me that I appreciate. I know and this not isn't true. Off color. I've never had a meal the by them that you. tasted stale and disgusting. D are you guys and jumping me into a died. grandma loving Demarge, gang? Do you, do you have grandparents around? Uh, yeah, my grandmother's <laughs> ninety five. Um, <laughs> she's still as vibrant as she ever was, and uh, loves to cook and do some stuff. Are you close? Does she live nearby? We're, we're close. No, she lives in Arkansas, and I. Um, she can't see as well right now, but she's but she's still. Out but you could talk to her on the phone, right? I will talk to her on the phone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, that's what they're I, for. You're... It must be real fucking nice. <laughs> <laughs> Will you please help me out? I what am I do? I'm you did a bit show. now. Just he, he, he wants get him. To, he he needs you to hate your grandma, even if Someone, you're lying. Someone like back I, me up. I just this is gross. It's so upsetting to hear normal family stories. Oh, like so you were lying. Just, you were lying, Spencer. Oh yeah, I was. I was giving an account of something that would be impossible by most understandings. He was algorithmically mocking your relationships with your grandmothers. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why I don't didn't you know go... you were doing that? I'm sorry. That's I, great. Yeah, that I must be real hard. You must have to have got, one of your scheduled calls to talk about it. You're fucking low roading us right yeah, now. Yeah. It's Stop. fucking yeah. Why don't you go take advantage of your normal social or safety network? It's great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Fucking Jesus Christ. Jesus. Fucking normies. There's nothing safe about loving someone. My grandpa's dead. <laughs> it's great. Mine's are too. It's yeah, so great, right? When you're a kid, no. remember you're in sixth grade, fourth grade, whatever you're in. All of a sudden, all the other guys. They're all talking about showers. Oh, they love showering. Oh, God. I can't believe it. They can't like, get enough water. Like, oh, they're showering. Dude, I take three showers a day. I take 90 showers a day. Like, what is happening? How did this happen overnight? We used to like being dirty. What did, what did you guys, what What happened here? Why Why is this the new metric for how to be normal? Oh, I can't believe how many showers I take. I didn't get, look, obviously, if it's an unconscious mechanism, if you just love showering, then fine. If you love your parents, if you if you have emotional like connections with people, and I, then I, then good for you. And then, then but, we're like figuring. We finally figured out we're taking showers, and then all of a sudden it's relations with your grandparents that everyone's talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's like we're just figuring well, out soap and conditioner, and now yeah. it's grandparents. But Dan, you have just a, in you, time for the grandparents to die. By the way, but Dan, oh, you you, you right. also I mean one mitigating factor is that you had a grandma that may may have murdered two people. That was my great grandma. Okay. That was my grandma's mom. If anything, you know, like well, bring her around. It doesn't matter. It's not. There's no grandmas she, that was are to blame. Was she ever blame. convicted of murder, or was that just pending? Here's what, here's only what, in hell? Here's what all family is now. <laughs> all family is just bear traps spread across social media that you never know which one you're gonna snap off. Hey, I, who's listening? Who has an opinion? 
I I don't there there is no like I then you meet like Cody's family like they love each other they got a background together they they did things I don't know how to I don't know how I'm supposed to isn't there supposed to be some kind of like foundation am I the monster am I the Hannibal Lecter that's like oh how come family can't be eaten with fava beans <laughs> like, like am I am I the one that because they're not calorically valuable I've like like it's, uh, I I I know who will tell you the answer is yes my family i i'm sure they'd be like oh yeah he's a weird one that one but I, I, what, what am i gonna take their word for it but bones doesn't talk to, to your parents either right? I mean, bones don't talk to nobody and i don't bones talk to him don't, <laughs> bones don't need to talk so to nobody. No bones talking to Who's nobody bones? never his brother. He's my brother. brother. Oh, his, his brother okay. gave himself a nickname. He don't Bones. talk to me. I don't talk to him. Bone, he don't talk to my parents. My Bone brother. don't talk he was to also nobody. Like, nobody in my family be talking to nobody. And like, like everybody's like, but, 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 but then every once in a while, be. somebody will have a fucking coronary, and then somebody will send a Facebook message to somebody going like, "Yeah, uh, good to see you, at Grandma Pappy Pappy Smaps funeral." Psych. I know you weren't there. Like father, like son, huh? Like, like, what are you taking swipes at my fucking legacy for? I don't know you. I'll fucking turn my feelings off like a light and I'll fucking get you. I'll fucking... If the legends of me are true, then don't fuck with me. What are the legends? That I have no feelings. No. All right, fuck you. Fuck all of you. No. Here's the thing. Why don't Put we stuff call, in your butt let's, tonight. Let's call, let's call Bones right now. Put him on speaker. No, and no, no, Let's no. put him on. A, no. a new segment called Bones Phone. Phone bone, ET phone bones. Are you gonna do the ET phone bones? <laughs> let's get, let's get. We gotta get Levy up here. We gotta play D and D. There's no time. What? Oh, okay. It's time for Levy. What about the time Levy gets up here? All right. Well, look, Levy, I'm... get up here. Start. Oh, Steve Levy. Yeah. He's my favorite Levy. Okay. Levy, you've been working out with Buffer the Hummer. Yeah, I have been. You're fucking jokes. Where you? Where you? Where are you lifting? Um, in a garage. At and a at, sometimes in a gym. Other times in a okay, garage. Okay. Where are you lifting? What gym? There's one in NoHo that I go to. Oh wow. I don't know the name of it. NoHo. Yeah. You don't do know you the do name. Do that CrossFit of it? stuff, or are you just in there sometimes. just doing weights? I I used to do CrossFit. I I'm easing back in. I'm doing the fuck weights is right now. CrossFit man. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. It's be... It's high intensity, like multiple, really fast, different kind of circuit it's, training. It's right? close to like NFL combine. Yeah, training. so just a bunch of different things. High intensity. <laughs> like you drag shit. Yeah, 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 it's like NFL combine. The roll attack. It's like NFL combine. Well, like you do like thirty burpees and then you you go jump through things. It's like circuit training. You do a bunch of different things. Hey, you drag a tire. You drag a tire. Can I can I do a little business before before I forget? No. I want to plug this thing that Starburns Audio is doing. We really can't. What used to be Feral is now Starburns Audio, and there's a thing that's happening called the the. Like these tapes are coming out. You, you, you know about this, Harley, yeah. right? No, please. Well, it did. Yeah. Right, it's, so real, real quick, a bunch of cool shits coming out, and for twenty bucks a month, uh, it's like the, the VIP level thing. It comes with the actual old school Walkman, and you get exclusive con content and extra tracks. Thirteen bucks a month, you just get a tape of the month kind of thing. If you go to d. dot r i p forward slash s b i dash press, no dot com all over case, you get uh, monthly tapes. There's Johnny Pemberton's prank call tape, Ron Lynch double tape, which sounds amazing. You have to play two tapes at once, and he's a fucking lunatic, and I love him. <laughs> uh, you get Dino Stamatopoulos' music, uh, Sorry About Everything. There's also a tape of Dan Harmon's. All the Dan Harmon, Harmontown raps are going to be on tape. So if you like the Harmontown thing, I'm doing a thing called the Jeff Davis Library. Um, there's a million other things. Neil Hamburger, a bunch of m motherfuckers. Uh, Rob Straub's Halloween tape sound effect. Yeah, and, and I do. And radio play. <laughs> So go to SBI Press, uh, like, and they have a Facebook page, and check it out. And also, and Simon Ore is the man that's in charge of that, and he's a bad motherfucker. So dig it. Or check out the ad that we'll play at the end of the episode. Are we doing one? Probably. Well, we I, have I, been. I, I love it. Shit. It'll be great. If, Damn. If, what was that, then? I, I don't know. I have no idea what that just was. It sounded like an ad... It did, yeah. Have you ever had suicidal ideations, Spencer? Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. More in high school. What do you mean by ideations? Like thinking about it. How would you do it? Ideas? Oh, God. I no, 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 God. Ideations. 
Yeah. What is it? it is, if I said... Thinking about it. Instead like, of ideas. Because it, yeah, because guess what? Instead of ideas. Because if you if you if your language is practical, you could just go uh when you like something and uh uh when you could don't. Champion. Yeah. And it's that you're gonna need Sounds nuance. Good. So ideations means not just ideas because ideas could mean oh I came up with an idea of how to kill suicide. myself. Suicide. Oh yeah, like ideation. A like are you having suicidal thoughts? But that's why not the- just say thoughts. I'm old Pajampian. language janitor. I'm Rob Schraub. I'm going to clean up 6,000 years of organic evolution of language. It's a, it's a Brother, it's a living thing. Yeah, brother. You ever go to art school? It's a uh, Think of it like a, a fucking little bit. like a like a Jawa or something you draw. It's a terrible. What do you what do you draw like an apple? So if I said, did you ever have any suicidal ideas or thoughts? You wouldn't know what I was talking. Oh that would be God. a dump. That you would my be God. like, oh, oh, no, I'm no, no, Senor. Oh my! He called on the God, no God, at least. I don't know what you're talking about. No, but we, see yeah. how much time you saved by saying it your way. Yeah, the we've way- got the answer <laughs> from what Spencer said. Oh no, we don't. Because we've been talking about this word. There's a million ways to say everything. And I, yeah. But the way that you said was bad. If you had Apparently, suicidal ideas But you would have thoughts, known what I meant, and we could have moved on. You can say anything any way you want. Thank you. Thank you for permission. So, wait. Thanks so, Thanks for permitting me. Every time we choose a way to say a word, we should stop down and explore alternate ways we could have said that phrase or sentence. It's By the like, way, it's, it's also like a tag. Like a kid could type in suicidal ideation instead of suicidal ideas. If they type in suicidal ideas, they might get half of them would be schematics for how to kill yourself. If they type in ideation, maybe it takes them to more crisis lines. We don't. It's, it's like it's I'm language gonna test is a fucking this theory. flowing river. I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna type both in. This could be huge for you. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm wow. gonna well, be blown away by the difference. I'm gonna be just. Event one, Big Bang, blown away by the difference. Look, I don't, I don't want to care about people anymore either. I have a shit story. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah! I knew it. Tell me more. <laughs> this is, I mean, I think this could be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. Um, I was, I was fourteen. I was in eighth grade. So middle school, not quite high school yet. And my grandparents, they lived on Long Island. We had, like, we were visiting. We had, like, Chinese food or something. And um, we, we lived in New Jersey, and it was about an hour and change to get back home. Um, and we had a <laughs> Chrysler Town & Country minivan, okay? It's a <laughs> two, four, seven, seven-seater. So you have the two se- fronts of the seat, you know, driver, passenger, and then two seats behind those seats and then a bench in the back i i need i need you guys to understand a bench what a like, bench. like a like a three person every good seat. shit story needs you have to understand the full geography if if, if this car drops you off at demorge's charter plane wait i just want you guys to understand bus, bus, bus. you guys you guys get you guys <laughs> so so my dad's so and you that was an option but we didn't have the wood paneling um, my dad was driving. My mom was in the passenger seat. My brother, who was two years younger than me, so he was 12, was uh, sitting behind my mom, who was in the passenger seat. My sister is in her car seat, so she's nine years younger than me, so she's like five. And then I'm behind my brother in the in the back seat and the three the three on the row. Big big family. Yeah, in the very back of the minivan. And, and you're 14 years old. 14. Like if you uh, if this story culminates in you diarrheaing in a fan and we are supposed to be laughing because we realize your sister got hit first, <laughs> we have a right to go. We didn't retain the yeah, the yeah bird's yeah. eyes. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, but just so you understand, like I'm in the very back and my <laughs> You're in the my back. siblings are in the middle and my parents are whatever. You got a big family. Yeah, You're yeah, in the yeah. back. Oh, whatever. Um, I, it's 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 very it's visceral for me because it's right. like this is, is it's haunted me literally. Um, so we're driving, 
um, back to New Jersey from Long Island, and my stomach starts hurting. And I'm like, oh no, this is this could be potentially bad. I think I could maybe wait it out, but there's so much traffic on the Cross Bronx, and it's like real, not great areas driving through. And I'm starting to go like, hey, like, can we stop? Can we stop? And my mom, I'm sorry. Uh, like Northern Jersey, Mars County. <laughs> from from, from, Jim, from Jim Long Island. At least eat the mic if you're gonna. Demar just Demar just New York thoroughfare bullying him. <laughs> He's like, you took the you took the Bronx from the tunnel of the Lincoln. You know, it's like a sad. You know, it's, just like, it's like a sad. Well, I can hold it that far to more. To well, but I was a kid. I didn't. I mean, I felt like I could. I could. I, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I just I felt like, oh, I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom soon. <laughs> just um, know that that's a you guys long took fountain way. after four. What? Nothing. I, I, yeah, yeah, it's an yeah, LA yeah, version. Yeah, exactly. The, the, okay, so. Um, so so we're driving, and I'm like, okay, I'm like, I think I might have to go to the bathroom. Can we stop somewhere soon? And we're and my dad and my mom are going, look, we're stuck in traffic, and this is not a great area to stop anywhere. It's, li- it's late at night already. We don't know what's going to be open. Just try to hold it. You'll be fine. And I was like, okay, I'm holding it. I'm holding it. We keep going. We're getting cr- closer to, like, the George Washington Bridge, which takes you from New York to New Jersey. And now are your siblings there tuned in? Are they merciful? Are they, they going they're, like, they, poor Levy? Or are they like, hey, buddy? No, no. I mean, I'm not yet complaining to the point where it's a problem. Well, I'm, you're, you're, I'm just you've going, cleared your throat at this point. Yeah, I, I'm voicing what's happening a little bit. Just like, hey, just a heads up. Well, there was a conversation, though, where they said, could you hold it? And they knew it wasn't number one. They knew it was number two. Yeah. I was like, look, I really got to go. So then your, sibling, your siblings aren't like, this guy, yeah, there's yeah. a kid in the car that needs yeah, to take yeah. a look, shit I'm not so proud bad. Of, I'm not proud I mean, of it. It didn't hit that point yet. It didn't hit like... Maybe it's a loving felt. family. Maybe it's a loving family. So so we're going, getting closer to the bridge, and then it starts to really hit me, and I'm like sweating, and, and I'm like, okay, this is... I, I, we have to stop. We have to stop somewhere, and we're stuck in traffic. <laughs> Am I... <laughs> And, and we're about to hit, and we're about to hit the George Washington Bridge, and there's like there's nowhere to stop. And George, George Washington, famously, the, I do feel this is important. I don't want to sork in you. Yeah. George Washington cannot tell a lie. <laughs> yeah. Continue. And so, he, he cross a, a, some water. He crossed the Delaware. So I'm, uh, I'm like, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. And my my mom's like, You're, everything's gonna be okay. You're okay. Don't worry. I'm so sorry. It's gonna be okay. And my dad's like, you gotta make it. You gotta make it. We're, you give us like 10, 15 minutes. Wait, is your mom is there? Is your mom saying if you shit your pants, it's cool? And your dad's like, you can make it? Or is there? Are they both no, no, just no? My, they're just trying to be he's saying hold comforting. the line. Right. right. Yeah. My dad's like, you 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 got it. Like, he's like just you hold got it. This you, you're, you're, we're almost yeah. over the bridge and we could stop. Are you rocking back and forth? Yeah, I'm. Like you could, I could feel it, just like ready to burst. Like, yeah. uh, and and my yeah, stomach is killing me, yeah. and I'm rocking, and I'm sweating. You're crowning. I un, I unbuckled my seatbelt. <laughs> There's no crown. You know? It's just. Uh... And I'm like, I'm not gonna make it. My mom gives me. She goes. <laughs> she's like, here's a plastic bag, just in case you need to. And I was like, what? And it's like this. It's like a sandwich a, a bag. Smaller. It's like a medium size, like. Marshall's bag, you know that like the, oh, the, okay. clo- the clothing like store? it's got plastic so handles, T-shirts and stuff. Yeah, it's got the plastic handles. Well, yeah, that's yeah. kind of actually okay. That's so not, I'm, that's better than like a zip. I get this as yeah. an option. Yeah. yeah, so I'm like, oh no, like I, I don't, I can't. You could theoretically. Just... And then so I was so then I put the the plastic bag under me, are and it was are, dark. Are, it's night out, so I can't are, see. Are people anything. teasing you at this point? Are they? No, they're all like, God, well, yeah, we no hope one. he fucking makes it because this yeah. is going to be a nightmare. Yeah, no one wants to. Yeah, yeah everyone's on your team now. Yeah, <laughs> your brother wasn't <laughs> laughing his ass off. No, he was like, Jesus, this is so embarrassing for him. Oh this my God! What I'm looking for is there's an older brother earlier who's like, ha ha, you have to shit. No, and I'm, now that I'm brother's like, brother. come on, buddy, you can do it. I'm the older brother, okay. and so <laughs> I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I can't hold it, and everyone's like, "No, no, no!" And and then it's just like, "Oh my I just, god!" I pull my pants down, and then I'm like, like, and then it's just, and then I get how the old are, How old are you? I was fourteen. Fourteen. I was way too old. This for is this like to be six happening. months ago. Yeah. 
and this and is three months from me moving to LA. The bag is underneath me, and my mom the entire time is going, "It's okay, it's okay." <laughs> my brother, my bro, I, I start shitting, and it's the worst diarrhea noises uh, you've ever heard in your fucking life. And, and I'm Ted just turns up the radio. <laughs> she seems to have an invisible touch. She takes control and Sally tears you yeah. apart. And my mom's just going, it's okay, I'm so sorry, honey, like, I, I, this is the worst, I'm sorry we couldn't stop, and like, and it's just like, just diarrhea flowing out of me, and the worst noises, and I just remember my brother going, oh my god, oh my god, and my sister going, ew, it smells, she's fucking five years old, yeah. ew, open a window, and open my dad, like, window. opening a fucking window, well, she of was course so open smell. a window, like, your sister's so right, yeah, <laughs> like, who thought, seal, well, it's, seal it's us like, in, it's, but it's like, Freezing winter time. It's like 20 no one degrees. cares. George, if George Washington, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, had been watching, but, he'd be like, open all the windows. So I mean, this happens. I, I felt like an eternity. <laughs> And then finally the paint, but then it's like, what do I, you can't sit down back on that seat. Also, like, you have nothing to fucking wipe with. There's you know? no napkins, was, nothing. I don't know. That. Maybe she gave so me some tissues. you're just holding a bag like, full of diarrhea up, up against and I, your butt and for the rest it of was the ex- ride. It was explosive. I have no idea, like, if, yeah. I, if I, what happened. And there's no spots on the on the bridge just like, to just pull over? No, like, like no. Do you, even just no, for you're, you're trapped. You're trapped. And I'm just hovering over, and then we finally get over the George Washington Bridge, and my dad gets off, and he, like, makes a right, and we get to, to this KFC to assess the damage and we turn on the lights and it's just it's just I maybe got like if I was lucky 60% in the bag and and not only that but <laughs> and I, and I and it was like it was all it was all over my boxers and everything. I just remember my dad taking the bag out of the car with my boxers and just throwing it in a dumpster behind KFC and we just drove home silently. I only just wanted to be at the Nordstroms that the bag came from. <laughs> the Marshalls. <laughs> um so yeah, you, and and we we get home and my mom is just like I'm so like I'm so sorry aw, that happened mom. and she like she's like why don't you go upstairs and just like clean off and like go lie in bed and she cleaned the back seat of the car because I I aw, missed the, so much of the bag. What a sweet. And it was traumatizing and my family will never forget that it happened. <laughs> but they all laugh at it. They they you're, yeah, you're the once older in a while brother. Bring it so back you don't in. have any older siblings. You're the no, oldest. I'm the oldest. Yeah. So Jordan's, Jordan's Jordan's two years younger than me. Yeah. Wow. And my sister's nine years younger than me. So uh, like, <laughs> and that's, that's it's just the three. But so yeah. yeah. So now everybody remembers it. Now it's funny. Like it's not like it causes you pain to remember it, right? Except to the no, point I, where you transport I, back. I, You're like that's, I own that story. <laughs> I, it was it was embarrassing at that time. It's like. You know, you're trying to like. Well, I can't believe the little brother wasn't fucking dying. No, he was just. If, like, oh, if yeah. Jeff Schraub was taking a shit in the back seat, I would have been dying laughing. Yeah, but not when you and started to parents, smell it though. But the, that that's the, his little sister. Been, she's like, it stinks. She's like, I, I get like, it now. Yeah. There's consequences. <laughs> I mean, like if I get this. <laughs> and then someone's like rolled out a window. Yeah, you think? Yeah. Your your family sucks. Just kidding. I love my grandparents. I call them once a week. I talk to my mom. All right, all right, ass face. (laughs) But also my dad. You know what? Also, you shit in bags. (laughs) Why didn't? Couldn't they just stop dead in the in the on the bridge? No, the the tunnels. There's nowhere to stop. No, you stop. Where were? But. But then you throw know, the bag know, of diarrhea out into the bridge. Yeah, he's well, still that's it. awful. Right? Like Henry Portrait of a Serial yeah, Killer. I mean, you stop. <laughs> it, you stop on the bridge, and then you get out, and then you shit outside of your upholstered car. Mm. With all the cars, with just cars. What are they gonna do, by? dude? I don't think it's legal for me to diarrhea on the George Washington Bridge. I don't it, think there's the, imagine, the, imagine, imagine the cars going ten miles an hour. It's not. It's not. It's you're imagining it like a. You're imagining degrees, like a. It's bumper bumper probably gonna bumper. freeze. Well, if they were at all stopped, it just <laughs> they're not, seems. Well, they're not, they're not at all stopped. It's a big long bridge, and they're, imagine them going like the speed of a. But I feel like there's stops and starts, you know, with traffic. And it just seems like if you're stopping at all, then then you just stop and be like, it's going to take a minute instead of 10 seconds. I, I think if there, were, if, Tell if there were any other option than him shitting in a bag in the back seat, I think they would have taken that option. I don't think they took it seriously, and that's why the situation <laughs> unfolded the way it did. I, I think there were options on the table that were not fully explored. The options were to pull off in the Bronx and, like, try to find a No, local... you just stop. 
Well, that you should have done. Well, no, if you, but you, you, you know, well, once you're on the bridge, you tried to make it onto the bridge. You've got our sympathies once you're on the bridge. If you pull off, right? If don't you, tell if, us you weren't willing to take a shit in the Bronx, or you become the. No, villain. no, I, I was willing, no, but, but but it was late. Loves, it was like ten right, o'clock at but, night. But, so but, where do you, st- where do you? They don't know, and they, it's like, well, then they, the answer is anywhere. They could not pull over in the Bronx because Judgment Night was still in theaters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dennis Leary Dennis would Larry's still have come for you on your ass. I, but no, I mean, I'm just saying, as much as the, it might be the case, like a bridge, everyone's like, I get it, the bridge. Spencer is fascinating me because he's picturing the bridge in a very nuanced way. Well, he's the like, thing Look, about it's a cars, bridge. the thing about a car in front of you is it's an impassable <laughs> obstacle. You can't drive through a car because it's not obeying traffic laws. You, ju- you simply have to stop. So if they had to shit that bad so that you stopped your car in the middle of traffic, the cars behind you would stop. I'd you know, never, it wouldn't rather, instantly cause I'd a car wreck. At any age, 14 years old till now, would rather shit in the car with my family than get out and shit in front of a bunch of New York. I also still yeah, think no, you're, I, I think I you're picturing, you're, you're, on a you're picturing bumper to bumper or like stop and start days. traffic. It's like there's a there's a medium you, split there where it's like, look, it's like a conveyor belt. You're not gonna let your kid go out. It's like couldn't you just sat moving, on the edge but of you're the, moving across the a bridge? Big long bridge. And get a newspaper and just kind of, you know, find, find a way to... Cause I wasn't that confident. This, this That's was my a, this fourth a, line item. You, you're saying <laughs> this, is a, this, this was a town and country minivan, right? Yeah. Sliding door? Sliding door. Couldn't you just hang it out the side? <laughs> <laughs> like you're yeah. painting the yellow then, line so on the... See, if we were, were your family, this would be yeah, like, like you'd handled. Like you the first big line... <laughs> If and your family had been Spencer's, you would have been. They would have like said, "Look, we're going to stop the car." We got oxygen. The kid goes out, takes a shit in the snow on the side of the George Washington Bridge, and people who honk, like the Spencer in the front, like goes back and goes, "Like, look, the kid is having diarrhea. Would you rather him have it in my car?" And then they keep honking, and the dad goes, "Keep honking. It won't make his diarrhea." Right. Grow. Exactly. This is exactly what I expect to be happening. Huh. And everyone's fine. And then the kid, the good, the upside of that is that the kid gets back in the car, and he's like, "My dad fucking loves me." I mean, he's got I got my back. I, I, <laughs> I guess society. Either way, I was gonna diarrhea. It's just how how much how much were we gonna, gonna go put out everybody else? Car. Yeah. It, you know, do we take on that burden ourselves or share it with the rest of the Georgia? Yeah, it's New York, Spencer. Surely you understand. Like, right, people uh, are shitting everywhere already. No, the the <laughs> New York has a. It's got a schedule. New York, you got, you got the uptown, you got the midtown. No, but that's the, the thing. He gets out, and then people are like honk honk honk, and he's like, "I'm shitting over here." Right. right? Well, that's I'm shitting here. I'm but you guys are here. you guys are referring to a man who didn't stop. He said, I'm walking here. That means I'm getting out of your way here. Right. I'm almost through. You can't say I'm shitting here. That means I'm staying here. If Dustin Hoffman's line in Midnight Cowboy had been, I'm wa- I'm standing here, that that movie would have ended 20 minutes into, into it. It would have been better. Well, yeah, I've never seen it, but I understand it to be pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it just two guys like running around doing drugs and sleeping with people? Apparently that, that was, that was apparently good. that was improvised. The, the, the car that pulls up was not supposed to be in the shot. Oh, and he actually riffed that line. Oh wow! Well, that makes it good. He was walking <laughs> there. He was walking. But there. the guy in the back seat of that car was taking a giant poop. <laughs> Is that why you're diarrhea junior? In our, in our path, <laughs> yeah, I mean, could be. Maybe not that's the origin, but yes, yeah. that sounds like an origin story. All right. Well, we definitely then. We, yeah, we don't have to play D and D anymore. That was D and D, I think. I like we did the whole D&D, podcast. Though. We, 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 book, we, we bookended this Harmon Town with prostate massage and poop stories. So. All I wanted to talk about was the prostate thing. Um, I feel like, as usual, um, you know, I found out who my real friends are. <laughs> I, I, I like your hair and your beard, Harmon. It's looking good. You're looking more and more like a combination of several of the captains on Deadliest Catch. <laughs> I'm not going to let that make make me trust you. <laughs> I like the sound of it. You remind me no, of you you look like you might go into the Bering Sea and 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 you know the Bering Sea gives up its gold. <laughs> you mean crab? Jesus Christ. How many ways are you going to trick me to think the show isn't boring? <laughs> Fucking A. All right, there's more crab coming out. <laughs> the Bering Sea gives up its gold. Crab, you mean? Say crab. Police their language, won't you? I don't watch the show. 
I watched an episode in the hotel. I don't watch a lot of TV, hotel TVs. I watched an episode of Wicked Tuna, and one of the boats, they're all from Massachusetts, one of the tuna boats is called Wicked Pisser. Oh, but Jeff, you want to promote... To, uh, you don't want to promote, but I want to check out this like Forge and Fire reality show. Forge and oh, Fire! Oh, yeah. Fucking Forge yes. and Fire. And Church and I... I, 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 made, I made Church watch some... Church, are you still up there? Oh. Um, For, Forge and Fire is good fun. It's a, it's a bunch of dudes that are all clearly like kind of blade spe spectrum -y nerds who like probably cosplay or they, 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 they're not good around people and they have a forge and they have to make historical weapons and it's great it's a testament to our society that um we, we are murdering so many people per minute that you can now unlike in the 80s <laughs> when when dungeons and dragons was of concern to parents because it simulated the idea of edged weapons you can now have a reality show on TLC or whatever. It's like, yes, this axe, which I recommend you kids at home try making, yeah. because if you do, you'll only be able to kill one person it, it, per police it, taser. It's like Chopped. The show is like <laughs> Chopped, but hilariously, it's Chopped. The, the name Chopped was already taken, so they can't go, sorry, like one of you, one of your blades is not up to snuff. You've been chopped. That, that would be perfect. Right. They've already took that for a cooking show. So they go, your blade did not make the cut. But the whole point, every, anyone wants to be on that show is so Doug Makeda, the, the Asian-ish martial artist, edged weapon master, will do a kill test on a ballistics dummy with fake ribs and blue gel organs. and He'll, he'll just take a Viking battle axe and kill a fake person or, or chop a hog in half. And he go, your blade will kill. <laughs> That's the, that's the best. That's part. the you're fired of <laughs> your blade. Oh, we kill. <laughs> and you actually want to hear it because, God, I mean, we would love right now for our entire society to be just like, if we could right now, in exchange for everything else, we would give every child at birth a double headed battle axe. <laughs> Cliffhanger! Thank you for coming, everybody. Or just, you didn't come. You just fucking sat there. We have no audience. Let's give it up for Steve Levy, Demorge Brown, Rob Schraub, Woo. Spencer Crittenden. Thank you. Also, as always, Church, Chris, Sarah, Noah, Zach, Kevin, uh, Spencer Crittenden, your game master Amen. that we didn't even play a game with, but he's, he just also, lends a, a mastery to everything that we do. Dan. Check your prostate. And, uh, and, and send privilege. us prostate uh, stories. Yeah, uh, everybody go put something up your butt tonight. And uh, if you love somebody, uh, get it right up in there and rub it around. And uh, uh, go to we just our, want more uh, data. Use lots go of Go to com slash butt fun and uh, send us your stories. I'm your uh, comptroller, Jeff Davis, your mayor, Dan Harmon. Thank you, everybody, for coming and watching. Water-based. Drive fast, take chances. Water-based lubricants. Put it in your booty. Put it in your butt. Put it in your booty. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.